Now you can make bracelets, rings, hair ties, headbands, anklets, and hey, so everyone. Hey, more. it's time for time for scary things. I hope. I guess we'll find out. Um, how's everybody doing? My sound output device is headphones. I don't know what the. I guess this determines the like the the range of volume. I'm gonna kill some zombies, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to kill some zombies. I, I loved, loved, loved Resident Evil 2, so I'm really excited for 3. Not to mention it being a game that, like, I've never actually played Resident Evil 3. It's the only Resident Evil I have never played, so I am excited. I'm excited to learn. Excited to learn and explore. Let's see here. Just a picture on the left disappears. I mean, like, I can see it. I can see it the whole time. It's always there. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's always there, even when it's max dark. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Just while facing the screen head on. Well, we'll just put it there. That seems right. Another rush of zombie dog kills you? I mean, that happens in, in the land of freedom, too. Zombie dogs are always killing me. Zombie dogs are rough. Nobody likes zombie dogs. Yes, Capcom, you can have my sweet, sweet data. We can't see anything? Okay. I was, I'm, always, I'm always curious about, like, uh, white levels. And uh, how they uh, transfer and capture. I know that uh, OBS has settings for that. But, like, it gets really tricky. Because if I put it to expanded range on a monitor that doesn't have it, I can't see if it's working or not. Which is kind of how it is. But I always crank it. Dark areas, not if I can help it. I want it to be dark. You guys gotta have the, uh, the true Resident Evil experience. Hold on, let me take a sip of my G Fuel. It's pretty dark, could be your monitor's brightness. It's not supposed to be that. Like, there's supposed to be a point at which, uh, it's displaying a light value. Like, I think it's trying to determine the HDR values and stuff like that. Um, so there is supposed to be a point at which your monitor just doesn't, like, have the range to put out pixels anymore. So it's supposed to shut off, but, uh... You know, given that it is doing that, yeah, you're right. It probably, I mean, HDR is off, so. <clears throat> ah, what a, what, a, what a nice sip of, of peach iced tea that you can get right now uh, at gfuel.com using code SIRLAR for 30% off. Um, DirectX 12, hot shit. I'm actually really excited um, for this game graphically because... Uh, The, the RE engine is super impressive. Um, Resident Evil 2 was just absolutely incredible. Uh, just from a technical perspective. So I'm, I'm extremely excited to see, uh, see this game. And uh, all the goodies that it can throw at my eyeballs. Good old anisotropic filtering. When we get, uh, once we get sweet, sweet, uh, ray tracing and everything, we won't need anisotropy anymore. Or, uh, ambient occlusion. HDR is fine. Oh. The volumetric lighting set to high tanks frames, just like an RE2. Well, we'll see. Maybe, perhaps, I am just that good. And my computer is just that good as well. Oh no, motion blur? Man, everybody, everybody has such a problem with motion blur. You know what game has motion blur? Doom. Doom has crazy motion blur. No one seems to complain about it there. I feel like, I feel like that's something that people kind of philosophically disagree with, whereas in action it's, it's not that big of a problem. Hmm. You have it turned off in Doom, it messes with your eyes. Does it mess with your eyes on stream? <sighs> Should I do this? I should probably do this, right? I'm gonna do this. Motion blur is fine as long as it's not obnoxious. All right. Not when you turn motion blur off. That's true. Uh, it is possible to turn it off. Well, you guys can let me know. Pandemic has spread faster. Oh, we got FMV, baby? What? Live action video in my video game? Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. I really enjoyed RE2 on hardcore. That was really, really, whoa. Hell. That's a good shot. Yeah, these graphics are incredible. Can't be saying quarantine in a video game. Commitment, honesty, integrity, 
these are the core values that create the God. foundation for Umbrella. There are a lot of, like, goodwill videos from Facebook on right now being like, Facebook likes you connect with people in these hard times. And I just want to be like, man, fuck you. It's fuck you. That will continue to That's what this shit reminds me of. For all of Dystopian companies that are trying their best to destroy our society. And meanwhile, they're like, we're your friend. Remember those dog photos that you saw? Remember those? We did that. Forget about Cambridge Analytica. We're Facebook. Ah, uh, Umbrella's basically Facebook. I mean, they're a pharmaceutical company. Facebook is a, a social media company. Uh, I think if Resident Evil were made today, I guess it would probably still be a pharmaceutical company, but... Yeah, that's a pretty sick, pretty sick intro movie. Also, pretty smart of them to uh, to bundle what is it, uh, Resident Evil Resistance with RE3? Like, came with the installer. I was like, well, okay, I guess I'll give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> That's the sound I make when I see a video game. <laughs> Sunny says, "Last of Us Two delayed. It's just not the right time." Capcom says, "Fuck it, we're doing it live." Yeah, I don't know. Capcom was further along in their their release, their development and release cycle than Last of Us 2 was. I don't think they had an option. Oh my god, it said code name Nemesis. That's the subtitle of the game. Good lord. I need to turn that. Sensitivity down. Uh, which is somewhere. Reticle deceleration? Hmm. Hmm. Camera? What's under camera? Aha! Max DPI gamers. Oh, that's still really high. That's better, I guess. <laughs> God, that line was too good. And... Must be some kind of hot tub time machine. <laughs> uh, delivered so perfectly too. Sometimes I wonder with a line that perfect, how many how many takes did it get to get that exact read? Whose bedroom am I in? Am I supposed to be Jill right now? Or am I just random person? I got some slippos. Got some spray. Looks like I've been doing some reading. Some beer drinking. I like to pour my beer into two equal plastic cups and drink out of them. I don't know if I'm on the right key. We got Doggo. Looks like I am some sort of lady, but I don't know if that's Jill. So technically, doesn't RE3 happen before 2? Some bad shit's gonna go down. Oh, I got a nice bob haircut. What makes you say that? Got my CDs. Does this canon also take place in 1999? Kind of like RE2. Bruce is having a tough time on hardcore. Yeah, I, I'm sure he'll 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 warm up to it. It uh, RE2 was bad on hardcore until you kind of got used to it. <laughs> we'll even deliver it to Mars. Show you. Green herbs, good feeling. Amen. Amen, Capcom. You guys understand. Okay, this is unrealistic. Guys, you're out of 10 game. This is bullshit. Look at this. This Paul's Burgers pamphlet is hanging over the bottom door. Wait, is it? A little. Nope. Yeah, it's close. I feel like if you open this door, it would knock this thing, and then when you close it, it's just gonna close it into the door. It's just gonna close it into the door. Zero out of ten, Capcom. First of all, you make Jill's skirt some pants, so I can't stare at her underwears. Get a little, get a little peek at her cyber vagina. First of all, you do that, and now this. Untenable. This will not stand. Capcom! Also, there's a radiator. Where's Raccoon City supposed to be? Uh, yeah, this is hardcore. I probably should have put that in the title. 
Um, I don't remember. Like, in the continental US, Raccoon City's supposed to be in Colorado, I think? Right? I guess a radiator would make sense there. <laughs> it's in America. Yeah, I thought it was in Colorado. I'm Jill! Cool. It's like the metamorphosis, except instead of turning into a cockroach, I turn into... I don't know, does Jill count as anime girl? She kind of doesn't, right? Midwestern United States, isolated a mountain city. Okay, it's Midwest. Okay. So it could be like Minnesota or something. Except for the two film was in Vancouver. I mean, uh, Canadian film. Ah! Capcom, you cannot do this. You cannot do this to my pretty video game women. Yeah, this is really well done. Damn, dude. <laughs> and thus ends the story of Jill Valentine. Thank you for playing Resident Evil 3. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Congratulations on beating the game on hardcore. Here are your Steam achievements, gamer. Take your Steam trading cards. See you in Resident Evil 4. Too many pills. Yeah, she's already infected, right? I can't remember if that's the setup for three. Which is why she's having crazy dreams. Just starting? Yep. I am in the, uh, I guess, Silent Hill 4 opening room. It's kind of interesting. Hoisery? I really inspect this. If I know anything, I know women. And I know that women love to sleep on four rolls of tape Welcome to Silent Hill 4. It's still soft. I've been thinking a lot about Silent Hill 4 lately. I think it's because I had like a trailer of it in my uh, my demo reel, but I'm like, man Silent Hill 4 was a great ass game. I feel like it didn't really get the credit it deserved I'll Turn on my Charlie wall here Ooh. September 26, 1998. This is like like usual every game is a lore playthrough So we'll be having some lore in this it's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will prove to be my final duty as a SARS officer. I can only hope that it leads to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. A bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. Huh. Okay. So I guess I guess they are acknowledging like incidental uh, immunity. That's kind of interesting. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Okay, so... Yeah, she's worried that she's infected, but doesn't know. Interesting. Umbrella, pharmaceuticals company, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also, secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arclay, Mo Arclay Mountain's research facility predicated the mansion incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Cool. So conspiratorial, you guys. Oh my gosh. Corporations. What if corporations were bad? To Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot, how you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. You had a pin of metal to you for making out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the Force. When the Chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it that you're planning to leave Raccoon City? 
I figured you just couldn't take the suspension laying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. I had to send this message to the Pete's guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large mega meat supreme. It's on me and the guys. Gosh, this is looking uncomfortably like my apartment. There's <laughs> dirty dishes and pizza tofu? Curry, maybe? Room temperature cup of coffee. Why does she have like a restaurant napkin dispenser? I'm kind of jealous. I really like those things. Those little spring loaded, uh, spring loaded uh, napkin dispensers? That is an XL, but yes, Japan, remember. This can barely fit into an average Japanese apartment. In fact, if two people order them in a single building, it will actually cause it to sink, the foundation to sink into the ground. So, uh, you gotta be careful. Everything in Japan's made out of paper. That's a, that's a real true fact. You can't argue with me because I am Japanese. <laughs> oh, I almost got it out. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Mm. Capcom, you've recovered some cred here. Only a little bit, though, by letting me open the fridge. Does that say raccoon milk? Ugh, I get that it's named after Raccoon City, but come on. Also, that is totally a Smucker's strawberry jam jar. I know that lid anywhere. Oh, God, I love fake flaky bakery bread. Flaky bakery is a cool name. Also, I knew that Jill was one of one of us. She's got two six packs, two more beers in the in the <laughs> the cabinet. Looks like a, a bottle of wine for one, some medication. Four two liters of soda, uh, ginger, ginger beer maybe? Pastries on a plate, more pastries next to it. This girl's a trash panda, damn. I, I, I said, <laughs> those beers bro? Yeah, she's going for it. There's just empty beers all around, damn. And a bottle of wine. This dry box of spaghetti on the counter. Oh wait, isn't Kendo the name of the gun store in Raccoon City from RE2? Pretty sure. What is this, middle class simulator? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Eating trash food and getting getting battered around by a mega corporation that doesn't give a fuck? Kinda. Guys, it's gonna be spooky time again. Don't, don't be spooked. Don't get scared. Don't do it. Don't get scared. Oh, there's a sandwich on the fridge for Jill's sandwich? Oh, I didn't even see that! Crap, I gotta check that out again. There's one thing I love about games, and Capcom has, has done this a lot, maybe even a little too much, is acknowledging the cringiness of previous games. Oh, this is how it goes into third person? Nice! That's class as shit! I'm into that. Hold on, let me see this Jill sandwich. Where? Look at that. Is it... Does it actually literally say Jill sandwich, or is it just... Am I missing it? Okay, that's right. Okay. All right, I'm coming. No, I'm not! I'm looking at this, I'm looking for the sandwich. Unless it's the burger, is that what you're referring to? Top right corner? I mean, there's, there's this. Just a sec. Okay, city, Earth, 21st, green Earth, good feeling. Is it just, just the picture of a sandwich, or does it actually say? Or you could call that. Ah, whatever. Future time traveler, thanks for the resub. Oh, an unsealed envelope. Damn it, the phone's gonna keep ringing. They got me pinned down at home. The guys across the street are watching me from their window 24 7. Are they Irons Men? Umbrellas? I don't know. There's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. I'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. We're moving out at night, five days. Wish me luck. Huh. Must be important. You are fired. Hello? Jill! Are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there! What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain! You gotta get out of there right now! Alright, let me grab my- ah! Nemesis already? Yeah? Okay. 
I guess this is what they send after you. Ooh! Mmm. Is this out or is this a demo? Nope, came out today. Oh, uh, this is the full game. Right, and the baby maker. No, man, he ki he kicked her in the beer and pizza tank. Baby maker a little lower, I think. Oh. What the hell is that thing? She's gonna need she's gonna need to stock up on beer and pizza to make it through this ordeal. Woo! Man, this game goes from zero to sixty pretty quick, huh? So mad. Such an angry boy. I don't know, like, are there any are there any buildings like this in the Midwest? Oh I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. Capcom does what Capcom wants. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> this poor collection of blood squibs. Yeah. Had them all like in his chest. Oh, my sweet, sweet blood packets. Oh, in city centers, I live in Columbus. Okay, great. I didn't know that. Looks like Minneapolis from Milwaukee. Ah. There's cities in the Midwest. I know, but I didn't know if they had like the brick with wrought iron fire escape shit going on. I didn't know if that was just like Japan's vision of, of downtown every city America or if that was actually a thing. I guess even in Dallas, there were a couple of those buildings, but there really was no reason for them. The beginning is very RE6. Oh, it's just like the big set pieces and crazy cinematography. Yeah, I, I, see, I see what you mean. I got a fucking Crash Bandicoot run sequence. How dare you say the Los Angeles is in the center of the universe? I'm pretty sure it is, um, dude. Name name another city. Name one. Just try. Any anywhere. It doesn't even have to be America. I'm gonna turn it up a smidge. Oh wait, that's the wrong knob. Tokyo? Fuck. Wait. That's not real. That's only in animes. Yeah, Los Angeles? Yeah. It's really the only city. Over here! How did he find me already? I guess he was on his way. Also, he's... He does look like a dumpy PS1 character. Got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait... The more screwed we are. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arkley on steroids. Oh wow. Hey! Hey, wait! Yeah. Air Combat 1942. Tommy Clooney? Bad luck game. I guess that's supposed to be Saw. Yeah, that's that's for sure Top Gun. Mars Carlisle's off duty. Why are these all 80s movies? I guess Saw's not. Disaster's supposed to be Alien, maybe? Aliens? Yeah, the cinematography is super good. Mixes, thank you for the Prime sub. Whoa! <laughs> Brad, you cannot die right away. There's so many. Zester's Apollo 18. Oh, I could see. Well, it's like a space dude with a gun, though. That's not really Apollo 18. Oh my gosh, it's Morgan! No! No! I wanted to see that. Damn it! Door behind you, go! 
That's the most Darkstalkers we're ever gonna get. Damn it, Brad! Yeah, Hydra <laughs> said the exact same thing already. Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Aw. Brad! <laughs> why is there a creepy... Wait, why was there a creepy Harlequin in that bar? Ew! Absolute ew. Oh, just heads up, guys. Uh, so I can play for about two hours, Sorry. but I have a uh, I have a call schedule with my me familia. Uh, they figured out how to use Zoom meetings, so uh, they wanted to do a call. Oh, I can I can dodge already. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? We're not gonna waste bullets on him. Hey, ya! Uh, Anyone else seeing the blinking? Fuck! It's blinking again? Sorry guys. I actually have the- I got a replacement card, but I haven't had time to open up my computer and install it. So wait, screen tearing. That's different than bleaking. The left side is blinking black. Okay. Shit. <sighs> hey Jess, good to see you. Mmm, so to fix that... I can fix that, I think, but that'll require actually, like, turning off my computer and swapping out some hardware. I was really hoping, praying it would give me one more goddamn day, and it just decided it couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. Too hard. Ugh. Hmm. I can turn on V-Sync. That'll get the tearing uh, going. But the, the left side blinking is something that, like... Ah, ow! Whoa, what was that? Okay. Oh, okay. Neat. Ah, it's like in, in game achievements. How dare you not have top of the line graphics? No, I, I do. I do. I do. I swear. I, uh, Elgato sent me a replacement capture card finally, but uh, I just I just haven't had time. The blinking is getting worse. I mean, it's it's been the exact same setup all the other times, so it's it's interesting that it's so bad today. Um, Wait, does it have V-Sync? Oh, it does. V-Sync is on, so shouldn't be any tearing, but yeah, I apologize about the, the blinking. Get to the parking garage room! Parking garage. Got it. Yeah, it's... the way it looks is it's just like, no, I'm not getting trolled. Um... Sir, are you alright? Uh, stay back! Don't come any closer! I, I definitely know that's a real thing that happens. After waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there! Parking garage isn't far. I can tell you. The only safe place. It was just me blinking. <laughs> oh, it was my eyes. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. Yeah, black blinking left side only is definitely a thing. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Um, the screen tearing is an interesting problem. It's still not that bad. Eh. I'm debating. I'm debating. Uh, I think I could probably... I could probably... Uh, let me get to the first save point, and then, you know what, I will actually... Because I've been meaning to do this, so I might as well do it now. I can, uh... Swap out my hardware. Then we'll have even better CRISPR capture. Yeah, if you're, if you're transcoding, so if you're using something other than source... Uh... Then, um, it's probably, it's probably using a transcode that's dropping the bad frames, um, which is actually doing me a bit of a favor. It means that not everyone can actually see it if you're on like 480 or something like that. But if you're on 1080p60, yeah, uh, I'll probably. The screen tearing is another problem though. I shouldn't be any tearing at all because fucking V-Sync is on. Woo! Shimon! Gotta have those moves! Okay. It's weird tearing. The blocks are distracting? Come on. Oh, it's only tearing on the left. Okay, same problem then. There, There is an issue where, like, my capture card just doesn't decide to render half the frame. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's previous frames. So, uh, I, I, I understand exactly what you mean. Um, you have described it admirably, thank you. <laughs> Uh, 
I got gotcha. you. This uh, it. We'll 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 get this we'll get this fixed and fixed for good. Oh. God. People calling the black thing tearing. It shows up as tearing sometimes, uh, Raz. So, I I understand what they mean. Um, I've seen it. I've seen it also do that. Where like it just loses half the frame. Sometimes it's black. Sometimes it. Uh... There's also vertical tearing. Yeah, that makes sense. Which is weird because that's not that's not like a V-Sync issue. Yeah, Ari Seven all over again. That's so fucking cool! God, guys, video games are so good now! <sighs> also, like how the intro really does reinforce that you can't kill him. Um, I always love it when, when narrative beats reinforce gameplay elements. Of like, we're gonna have Jill do everything to this man in cutscenes to show you, narrative-wise, he doesn't die. He can't die. So you can shoot him all you want, you'll just be wasting bullets. Yeah, he's he's not he's not doing the stars thing very much, is he? Hey! Fuck me! Thought he was hot before. Who Carlos? Who are you? What do you do? Carlos. Carlos. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. Resident Evil 3. Well, I guess 2 was filled with pretty hot people. There's one thing I appreciate about the Resident Evil series is that everyone's pretty. I think we're in the clear. Carlos is cute. So, Carlos was always a bro. Bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. Is Nemesis the tyrant from RE2? No. Personal space. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, said Admiral. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Everyone on RE2 is a fucking brick shithouse too. Ooh, mint candies. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Not ruffles. Look at the hair physics. Blah, 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 blah. Um. So I. I don't know. I've hit like. I don't know if I've hit checkpoints. Uh, I feel like I just have to wait until I have an actual uh, sudden death bowling. No spares in this game. <laughs> I feel like I have to get to an actual typewriter or something. Skull Stalker on the Red Planet. Skull Stalker adrift in space. He will fight his target. It's like a alien versus predator thing. Hell Squid Zero. <laughs> Hell Squid's origins revealed. What is Hell Squid? Who is Hell Squid? Why is Hell Squid? Find out this fall, Hell Squid Zero. No, I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Skull Stalker's Terminator? I mean, yeah, but the other one looked like aliens. That's... He's all yours. Had to like the long head. Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? But you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on, it's this way. <laughs> so tasty they might go extinct. Are those supposed to look like the M&Ms? Well, that's nice. I will brush my. I've actually been. I've been. I've been slipping on brushing my teeth. Jim's crabs. Some people got lobster, but I got crabs. My name is Jim. Come get my crabs. Oh, especially lobster menu hoops. What? You can't do this, Capcom. Stop this. Stop this right now. This is not. This is not okay. Hmm. Jesus. What is that even an ad for? I mean, I get that's food, but Jesus. Is Bubble Bobble Capcom? Uh, no. That is... Taito, I believe. 
Oh, that's a cool poster. Yeah, 1998. All right. <laughs> so, wait. Dr. Light and Dr. Wily are are normal people inside Resident Evil verse, but there's also a Mega Man comic. And he has his gun. His trademark pistol. Huh. Fighting story? I mean, isn't isn't that like 80% of comic books? Fight story, volume three. And this volume, people fight. Hey Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Okay, that's where the demo starts. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is... How far into the game is this? Like, 20-30 minutes? Jill. I mean, I've been taking my time, so... Nice to meet you. The game is still starting. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. Oh, the blinking stopped? Okay. It, it settles out sometimes. Uh, Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up. I'll, uh, if it comes back, let me know. And I, I swear I can sort this thing out in like... My Ten minutes tops. I've gotten I've gotten very good at taking that card in and out. Is Blinking is not during cutscenes. Uh I don't think. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. I don't think it has a lot yes. to do with that, but. Well, we are doing all we can. If we. The issue seems to be during fast motion. Yeah, maybe. Um, there does seem to be a very small amount of overlap between. Um, My men cannot do this alone. Uh, encoding load. Um, it has nothing to do with graphical load, because the game is not being rendered on the same computer the video is being encoded on. I'm in. Oh, it just blinked? Alright. Yeah, when I get to my first save point, I will, uh... It's cool, we all want the same thing. I'll swap it out. I've been meaning to do this. I meant to do it last night. Other things got in the way. Here you go. Wanted to help Steph with some things. Stay in contact. This is always how it goes, man. I think I have enough time, but I never do. Yeah, okay, Scatter. I'll fix it shortly. First things first. Uh, I guess the, the dots... The dots mean... Okay. Okay, there's an autosave. Alright. Um, let me think. Yeah, I do have to turn my streaming computer off. So the stream will go down. Um, it was horizontal tearing earlier. V-Sync is off. Nope, V-Sync is very much on. Except, depending on the game... Uh, so I'm splitting, my, I'm splitting my video output. And sometimes, bizarrely, V-Sync only counts for one of them. Uh... But yeah, uh, but, 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 okay, so V-Sync, um, I can turn it off at the driver, or I can turn it on at the driver level. That helps sometimes with horizontal tearing. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, sorry guys, stream will go down for a sec. But, like I said, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty practiced at yanking this hardware out and putting new things in, so. Are there monitors different refresh rates? Well, one's not a monitor, one's a capture card. And no, they're not. Um, they are both 120. Yeah, 360p, you're probably not seeing the, the bad frames. That's getting uh, screened out. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'll be, I'll be back in like 10 minutes or so. Sorry about that. Um, appreciate if you guys stick around. I know the Twitch doesn't really work that way though, so hopefully you will. And if not, that's fine too. Uh, there will always be time for video games. So see you guys in just a second. Thank you for your patience. Okay, guys. Oh, baby. Wait. I don't think I have HDR. Why is it asking that? Um, Alright, we should be good now. Let's find out. Let me know how it looks. We got new hardware, baby. Sick upgrade for you guys. Um, had, to, had to open up my PC, rip out some guts, replace those guts. One might say I'm something of a, of a surgeon. Yeah, picture's coming through fine. Looks like it was capturing at 60, so... Big goats. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Alright, I see the I see horizontal tearing. You'll find supplies there. That's really annoying. Alright. Um, because V-Sync's on in the game and it's on in the drivers. Uh, 
Let me see. All right. Thanks for that. Oh, it's under graphics. That's right. We sync on. Bleh. Um, trying to remember how bad my uh, my wallpaper is right now. Yeah, no blinking. That's good. Um, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Come on. Doop, 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 doop. Boop, doop, doop. Oh. <sighs> oh, why did it beep? What was that? Holy crap. Uh, maybe it's because re refresh rate is on variable. Uh, refresh rate shouldn't have anything to do with whether or not it, it's taking full frames. Um, let me try one. Yeah, it's sticky keys. Sticky keys is getting me. Um, I have an I have an idea. I'll change one more thing. I found that uh, so there are multiple beep is BIOS on OS. Wait, beep is BIOS OS sticky keys. I don't know what any of that meant because the BIOS and the OS are different things, and you just slam those words together. Uh, so let me put VSync on fast. Uh, or okay, I mean the beep. Wait, BIOS or sticky keys? It was neither. Also, the beep came through the speakers, not through the, the onboard speaker. Um, is there a use case for sticky keys? It's a, uh, it's a, it's an accessibility thing. Okay, so I've, I've changed the V-Sync at the driver level. Um, that may be something that I just can't, <laughs> just cannot change. Um, we'll see. We will see. Maybe it's just going to be like that. Sometimes it just be that way. Um, yeah, tearing tearing drives me crazy too, so I, I empathize. Um, why does it ask that every time? Okay, so let me... Why is sticky keys? Well, if you've never had to use it... First things first. We need to get you geared up. What? No, I still see, I still see tearing. Wow, that's bad. That's really bad. That's frustrating because it's not like that on my monitor at all. Shit, Kev. They really took a chunk out of you. I don't have G-Sync or V-Sync or FreeSync turned on. Um, it doesn't really conflict or it not, not. But I will try turning. I mean, it. the thing is, if you want it over 60, it has to be. Because I'll just put it to 60. Fuck it. Take the time of this. You can use both, yeah. God. Checking this shit sucks. Gotta wait every time. Okay. Yeah, that seems better. Yeah, that doesn't seem bad. Okay. I guess locking it at 60 helped a little bit. I can still see some tearing, but... It's better. Alright, well, I... I will, I will deign, I will bravely play at only 60 FPS, which uh, kind of sucks, but yeah, I, the RE engine, I remember too being a little finicky too about, about screen tearing and stuff. I guess, uh, I guess I'll also be saving the environment. My, my computer won't be yanking down those big watts to, uh, to render all 120 frames. Um, yeah, it's true, Mil uh, it's true, it's true, Jack. We have been hard spoiled by PC gaming. Well, Kitsune, yeah, I mean, I'm, I am, um, I am, the use case for me in this game is well outside of, I think, the normal use case. If I were just playing on my monitor like a normal person, it wouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, here we got the UC, or UBCS Ammunition Crafting Guide. Oh, that's right! Three was really big into ammo crafting. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Which is still pretty useful, so come on. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Hand powder, or handgun ammo, gunpowder times two. Yeah, this is just all the stuff they added to RE2. Once you're stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give these dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. Noise. Ye old huff, thanks for the sub. But yes, thank you. Thank you, Tady Bojangles. Uh, I would not want my extreme bravery in this in this time of duress, this, this, these hard times. I would not want my bravery to go uncelebrated, so thank you. Uh, I assume the, uh... Some Sam Hans is Butler of the Dead. I, uh, I expect the, uh, the parade to be tomorrow. 
Um, unfortunately, my hair hasn't been cut, but I'll still be looking good. You know, I'm okay. Yeah, if somebody says they can't notice the difference between 30 and 60, your eyes are busted. Get your eyes checked, bruh. The Cannibal Murder is a complete digest. In the gray morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpses of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she'd been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of this kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. Uh, so who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? Ugh. We here at, at News Comet have been have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not just be settling for the cafeteria food. Our reports have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, or our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, ask the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. But yeah, man, steak is definitely the new term for the D. Coda Bear, thanks for the sub. I've seen you in chat before. Thank you for uh, thank you for coming back. Thanks for dropping that hot cash. All those big zombie bucks. Call me Mayo. Thank you for the sub. It's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Oh, space is dodge now. How do you... Oh, knife is a weapon. Okay. What a, what a weird thing to say out loud. Knife is weapon. Does this gun not... Or does this game not use ink ribbons and... Uh... Oh, you can't combine from pickup? Yeah. This game not use ink ribbons and typewriters to save? No ink ribbons? Oh. We're in the future now. I guess you need small keys to open those. Uh, wub Wubbly, thanks for the resub. Hope you're doing all right on lockdown. I am, and I, f I feel bad saying that because I know some people aren't, but, uh... I, uh, my job, which is, I guess, this now, is still doing okay. Wait, somebody said no tie- oh, no, no ribbons, okay. Um... People are still spending some money on sponsor stuff, uh, hence hence G Fuel. This is hardcore Magic Kool Aid. Yep. Um, thank you, Divine Pathos, for the cheer. You can combine on pickup when your inventory is full. Otherwise, it auto fills in your inventory. Gotcha. Okay. Nothing wrong with you doing good, I guess. Yeah. Accidentally got the Doom Eternal promo G Fuel set to the Doom mixer and wanted to try spicy lemonade. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. I need to ask if I can get sent that. Um, Divine, I think you have triggered a hype train. Vodka flavored G Fuel. I mean, tonight might be the night. Stephanie just picked up a ton of pre-mixed cocktails from a from a, a bar. You have to sell food with it, so she got a, a big thing of wings. But um, uh, here's the herb field manual. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo boo? Go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds. Let's get these recipes memorized. Let's make sure you're green or three greens. Okay. Ah. Giggle fits! Thanks for gifting out five subs. And Baron, thank you for the cheer. Oh, you guys are doing it. You guys are making it hype. Tossing coal into the hype hype furnace. That is a very 1998 laptop. Who's the conductor? I think it was uh I think it was Divine Pathos, but I could be wrong. Also, Divine Pathos is an excellent. And shockingly intellectual Twitch name. Okay. We're survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Oh, that high train is moving. Don't worry about that. Oh man, those like those like mid-fall animations are awesome. When they like fall on you and then you kick them or something like that. Very very cool. Radar noise. Thanks for the cheer. That dodge is so helpful. Oh yeah, split hair. It, it, it is super helpful, but it does kind of change the texture of the game. It makes it much more action-y. I never played Resident Evil 3, but I did watch my friend play it a lot. I would go over to his place and watch him play. 
And I could kind of tell that the tone of this game is just faster, more actiony. And they went from this to like Dino Crisis, which was straight up action. So that was always kind of interesting uh, to see like Capcom sort of experiment with the survival he uh, survival hey! uh, horror formula. Obi Fizzle, thank you for the cheer. Kitsune, appreciate it. Uh, Ajax, thanks for gifting out a sub. Woo! Damn it. Okay. Interesting. If you don't dodge it at exactly the right time, they will, uh, they will just follow up and get you. Yeah, already danger. Okay. Okay. Gotta be careful. No chomps. No chomp in here. Oh, that was not smooth. God damn it. Okay. They can get you from the ground. And he's got me. Rooney, thank you for the big cheer. Okay, I think he's down. This game doesn't have the, like, do the knives degrade in this game? Doesn't seem like it. Oh man, Roroni, thank you so much. Goran damage textures are so good, yeah. When, like, heads explode. It's like a meat-filled watermelon. It's my, my zombie tester. Infinite knife. Baby damage, that's fine. Knife is infinite near useless. No, it's not. It, uh, you can use it to break boxes so you don't waste ammo. You can use it to test zombies when they're on the ground. Ye old Huff, thank you for the big cheer. Appreciate it. Nug Tuggets, thank you, thank you. I mean, I guess I should trust you guys. You probably, you guys know more about three than I do at this point. But like, how else are you gonna break this box if you don't have a, uh, have a good old knife? How else am I gonna get that gunpowder? Raz, thank you so much for gifting subs. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? You guys are kicking off this stream right. Circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. That is actually a pretty good line. <laughs> if you do the Konami code, the game crashes. Yeah. Hashtag fact. Gotta put this out. Nug, thank you for the follow-up cheer. You guys are almost to a level five hype. Coda, thanks for gifting a sub. Oh, that's almost got it. Almost got it. So, I feel like a lot of this game on hardcore is going to be dodging zombies and running past and ho probably needing to get really, really good at the dodge. So you don't use uh, items and shit when you don't need to. My remission train has led me to a hospital with the coronavirus. Can't catch a break. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, how, how far are you, how far are you in your, your coronavirus, uh, experience? Are you, are you past the worst of it, or is it just ramping up for you? Remission, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Screen tearing is coming back. Oi. Like, the normal screen tearing, though, right? I, uh, I might, I can try to figure something out on that. I've always been fascinated how, like, it can, uh, it can not tear on my screen but tear through tear on the on the display or the capture uh i don't understand why that happens you would think it's sending the same visual data to both displays um horizontal tearing all right well yeah there might be a uh i can't i mean oops well i guess if it's still tearing there's no reason for me to suffer <laughs> um actually wait there's there's one thing that might fix it uh, if i put it to 60 hertz or I guess 59.95, sure. Um, and V-Sync. Or, actually, you know what? You know what I didn't do? Jesus, let me put it in uh, bordered, bordered full screen. I don't know if our engine will do bordered. Yeah, okay. This actually will probably fix it. Um, okay. Some games uh, full screen is, okay, let me know how that looks. I think that worked much better. Okay. Yeah, um, 
I think what I've learned is like, usually full screen gives you the best performance, uh, but like since Windows 10, man, full screen doesn't really matter all that much. Um, but I've also learned that when a game is full screen, it actually does put out two different display modes and you don't get to pick. <laughs> Like, it, uh, you can set you can set all your options and shit, um, but, like, your desktop settings and your refresh rate settings and, and your graphical settings, if you're in full screen and it's splitting displays, the other one is just sort of whatever it feels like. Uh, so, boy, we're figuring this out. I might be one of those folks that it doesn't kick their ass, but it's just as contagious. Mild to no fever, a slight cough. Um, still in Yale Hospital, roommate isn't doing as well, unfortunately. Well, I, I hope I hope the best for you, dude. You've you've been through it. You have. Uh, I turned around at some point. You've. God damn it. You've you've more than earned some time where you get to just be happy and healthy. So I'm so sorry, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we can all we can all rally around you and, and make this time a little easier for you. Small libero. Thanks for gifting a couple subs there. Very much appreciate that. Yes, sellmyseamen.com. I am, uh, I'm happy I can finally put all these stupid URLs I bought to good use. Ah, I'm back here. I, ah, I keep turning myself around. Okay, you gonna come for it? Oh! Gotta get really good at that dodge. Gotta save them bullets. Oh, wait, there was an explosive barrel. Oh, there... Well, I got a few of them. Better than nothing. Some really confused sperm donors are showing up. Good. Good. That's called working the angles. Gotta work the squirt. That's what I say. That's what I've always said. An ex an explosive libero? Eh? Is that what libero means? Is there a surplus of pistol ammunition on this difficulty of the remake? I mean, I don't know yet. I just started. I'm already kind of in a conservative mindset. Uh. Hey yo! Oh wait, right, I already used the other one. Not gonna grab a tasty donut? Not yet. Are they already gonna hit me with like a liquor or something? Or are these just zombies? And this is why we test our zombies! $200 keyboard to die? Or die today? Oh man! I mean, my uh. My, like, $300 capture card has been dying over the course of the last three months, so I feel ya. Luckily, I, uh... I, uh, I was able to, to, uh... Tough it out with Elgato customer support. They were actually pretty chill in the, in the long run. I just had to kind of walk through their troubleshooting... Troubleshooting, uh... Multiple choice thing. <laughs> Link Blaze Ranch. Don't be, uh, don't be over there, uh, gamer shaming, just because somebody has a $200 keyboard. Uh, I am back here again! Okay, I gotta go get a donut, I guess. Mark on the Corsair K65 RGB, and it's lasted me about three years. That's not bad. Yeah, like I said, I've, I, uh, I got in, I got this Razer keyboard when Razer keyboards weren't, uh, cardboard and trash, so, I, uh, this keyboard has served me very well. The keys are, like, getting all worn down and shiny. Uh, so I, I kind of... It's hitting that point. Like, there's a, a worn-through spot on the right side of the, the space bar. Um, I can't I can't give up on my, my sweet keyboard now. I'm gonna try to keep this, this old girl working as long as I possibly can. Ah. Uh, August 24th, from the Drugstore Owner's Journal. Is this the full game? Yes, it is. Uh, I did play the demo, didn't get a chance to try multiplayer. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the multiplayer, uh, in a stream sometime. Uh... But today is for the campaign. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this in order to huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I'd invest in a good safe to hold, us, hold all this cash that's rolling in. September 2nd. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code. Not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen. She'd never give it up for a thief. We'll see. What is this, Half-Life Alex? all of a sudden? Opening drawers and finding things? Are you an Aqua Cure Queen? Uh-oh. Are you a drugstore owner? 
That pistol's pretty meaty. Oop. I feel like I, I'm gonna come back here once I get that code, so I might as well deal with this guy. You good? We're done here? See? Saved a bullet? You guys saying the knife is useless. Come on. I mean, again, you probably know more than I do, but... Hey, a dead guy. Hey, Raven's A. Good to see you. Can I climb up on this? No! I feel like the knife has hit its... has found a, a tactical disadvantage. Missed that little dude? Yeah, you gotta... I guess I gotta train my ears. I, f I don't know, also like, man, when you play enough video games you start to get a feeling for where developers like to hide things. It's mostly a pacing thing and a spacing thing. If you go through enough rooms and like there's just a room that seems too conspicuous but there's nothing in it, you're like, hmm. My, uh, my gamer senses are tingling. Also, this this ambient audio is pretty intense. Just non-stop disquieting sounds. Is there a reason to have an expensive keyboard? I've got a Razer mouse, but I've been finding the keyboard that came with my PC. Eh. If you don't think there is, then there's not. Um, I know that there's been a lot of effort to like cram gamer tech into keyboards with like macros and RGB and all that stuff. I don't really care for any of that. I never use macros. Uh, I don't look at my keyboard while I'm playing games, so I don't really give a shit. I'm, that was stupid of me. <sighs> Went and assumed. I have a question for me and everyone. R2 kind of cannibalized the RE3 gameplay. This is Nemesis Mr. X. So what will make three different than two, apart from cast and locations? Um, there's the dodge, which is pretty, pretty mechanically different. Uh... There's, yeah, there's the, uh, there's the people in locations. There's the fact that it's just more Resident Evil to play. Uh, but apart from that, oh, okay, that's the, yeah. Nine, three, seven, all right. Shit. Okay. So, nine, left nine, right three, nine, three, seven. All right, starting with left. Crosshair's tightened way faster than Leon did, so easier crits. Huh. Seems like the, the, the zombies move in on you a little bit faster too, where they lunge from further away. Maybe that's just my imagination. For me, mostly it's just like, it's just, uh, oh, yay. Sent me, or is that from the post office? Okay, thank you. Cool. Hey. And uh, I don't know if you're there, but I think your package arrived. Give me that money. Give it to me. Oh, it's a scope. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, that tightens nearly instantly. Hey, Bella. What up? See, modded me Mr. X became essentially the nemesis of the game. So it just seems like three will just be more of two. Yeah, they really did expand uh, Mr. X's role in two to make it more like three, I agree. Also, my understanding um, from some of the earlier reviews is that nemesis is not like an, an open world uh, an open world bad guy, kind of like more like the alien and or or in the original Resident Evil Three, like the idea was that Nemesis could just show up at any time. It seems like in in the remake, he pops out at scripted times and dogs you for specific cir circumstances, kind of like Resident Evil Two. So yeah, I wonder about that. I feel like to to it really feels like I don't want to say. Well, maybe I do want to say it. It does feel like they they kind of rushed the game. Which is not to say it's bad, but it does seem like they, they flipped it real quick. Um, I mean, it came out a year! One year! So... 
it kind of feels like to me that they tried they tried really really hard in the RE2 remake and then once it sold really well they were like oh we gotta we gotta ride this train let's get three out go 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 and they didn't really have the time they had to be pretty conservative with like the the breadth of content that they were including I can get cheaper uh, options with the Amazon warehouse site got a sixty dollar mouse for twenty dollars that's a good question or that's a good tip Tartarus Anvil thanks for the resub um, it's only four hours long supposedly. Yeah, I wonder if that's casual playthrough or if you know what you're doing playthrough. Because um, most Resident Evils you can knock out in that amount of time. And that's usually not your first playthrough though. Oh. A fancy box. Don't mind if I do. Is there a thing? Oh. What's up, Kala? First hour was four, or your first run was four hours, 20 minutes. Hey. Fucking nice. Think Code Veronica's next? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I mean, if, if they wanted to jump on the, the, the money while the money's, get, the money's good to get, it'd probably be Resident Evil 4. Um, they've, they've HD re-released that a number of times, though, so... I kind of wonder. Wait. Why is there an exclamation point? Oh, okay. It's these. I could see Code Veronica, though. Since they have the engine, and clearly they're getting pretty good at flipping these games. Um, which means... Which tells me that they, like, they know the tech, they know the engine, they have all the tools. And the tools seem really good. If they can turn around games this quick... Hey! There was another one. <laughs> that got me. Um... Uh, if they can if they can flip games of this quality this fast, then yeah, I, I yeah I could see them like doing Code Veronica, just being like fuck it, one more year we can flip or we can flip a Code Veronica. These games keep selling, so let's do it. I'm I'm certainly not. Oh, I missed a I missed an item in the pharmacy. Oop. Capcom seems to be in a place now where they're really enjoying making money, uh, which is good. Good for them. They spend a lot of time not making money, so... Oh, there it is. So... Shotgun shells come up with another high grade to make mag. Um, but is it, nor is it like normal plus high grade equals a lot of bullets? Is that how that works again? Capcom is in a revival of sorts. Yeah, they're, they're figuring it out, which is great. Um, it, was, it was a bummer to see the... Uh, the transition to HD consoles and stuff really did throw a lot of Japanese developers for a loop, and they lost a lot of ground and market share in that in that market transition. So it's been good to see a, a small amount of them come roaring, roaring back. Maybe too strong of a term, but like Platinum Games still still doing it. FromSoft is uh, is making it magical, and uh, Capcom's actually releasing games again. So good for them. Oh, Dead Rising 5? Yeah, I, I don't think 4 worked out all that well. It's funny, because that kind of came from Capcom's tr attempt to, like, license out their properties to other developers. Was it Blue Box? The Canadian guys that made 4? Which I thought 4 was a great game. Um, but I don't think sold nearly as well as they wanted. Also, I think had ex had a console exclusivity for a minute, which... Boy. Microsoft tries, God bless them, but... Is it is it ever a death knell, <laughs> or or a, in the Xbox One gen at least it was it was sure not good for business to be a launch title. In my head, Ken and Wesker happened to develop a British accent after RE One. Yeah, they kind of pen themselves in with his voice actor. Ah, I am Albert Wesker, villain of the Resident Evil franchise. Like <laughs> they had to like keep rolling with that shitty voice. I guess it worked. I mean, oh, Killer Instinct seemed doomed from that too. A little bit. Yeah. Killer Instinct is a damn fine game, though. It's on Steam now, so. I mean, if 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 nothing else, it's a it's a cheap way to uh, hear more Mick Gordon music because his work in that game is phenomenal. 
So, so good. And you can be a battle toad. A battle toad. Wait, Cooking Mama came out to. What? What? I did not know this, Jess. Oh, it creates shotgun. Shit. Alright, well, fine. What? Is it on Switch? It's on Switch, yeah? What? Oh, they have the Arbiter? Yeah. Battle Toad versus Arbiter! <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard the TJ Combo theme yet. James tweeted at me about it. I need to I need to do that. They subbed him out for season two, loads of tracks made by other composers, and it wasn't the same. Well of course, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, we're back. Okay. Yeah, it gets a little frame droppy when you're when you're moving between areas, but that's okay. I I will accept that. Given the limitations of texture streaming and how the engine has to probably try and squeeze all that shit in to actually a very quick door transition. That was, uh... That was kind of the point of the original doors. Give the PlayStation... That sweet, sweet PlayStation time to, uh... To load up a new room. Jesus Christ, brother. Come on, brother. Little Cooking Mama come to smash. When this world decides to be just, which it's not. He did Prey too? I think he did some of Prey. I don't know if he did the whole thing. I could be wrong about that, but... Man, Prey is so good. Prey has no right to be as good as it is. Huh, interesting. I haven't found the, uh... Bolt cutters yet. But I will. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. I should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more shells. Things go south. Cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it alive. I would love to. But. I have no chain cutter. Drinking almond milk from the carton. These are truly dark times. I thought I was a hero for momentarily playing at 60 FPS, but uh, I think I think my parade will have to be suspended. Yeah, things to read where there was shotgun, cut the chain, highlighted in green. Yeah, Capcom wants to make sure that everyone has fun with this video game. Uh, yeah, that's proper gun safety. This must be the subway company's offices. Shotguns chained up, grenades out on the counter. The pin's in it! Man. Use gun. Use n Just stab it until it opens. Okay, Brothers Railway Manual. Ooh. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Oh, we got a puzzle! I've heard... Nothing. I've heard this RE game is pretty puzzle light, too. Um, at least that's what some reviews seem said. Oh! I'm not wasting a bullet on your ass. Damn right, G Fuel Jess. For three more days, you can get 30% off using my code SIRLAR at gfuel.com. 30% off. So, what am I gonna do with all this confetti? Use it for Kala. She's drinking almond milk out of the carton like a hero. Probably backswashing it real good. R3 is more action, less puzzles. Yeah, dead guy. I think it's I think it's thematically fitting. Um Guys, I have caramel dancing stuck in my head still. It's in there and it won't get out. Uh, okay. Can't go through there. Da -da -da -da. Well, there's a chain on that. Oh. Hey! Why is that stuck in your head? Uh, there's a... Somebody played a Carmel Dancing video a few a few you play Thursdays ago. Got to got to keep hitting that branding, and it's just it's just been earwormed in there ever since. 
I have been listening to the shower and uh, singing to it in the shower. I okay. Shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. I thought I did not know that they could just roll over and get you from the ground. The knife is significantly less useful. Nut, nut Buster, 69,000. Thanks for gifting a couple of subs. Um, I guess, I guess maybe if you approach them from the, like, directly from the head, they can't, there's no animation for them to get you from there, maybe? So, maybe that'll be, maybe that'll be a little better, a little safer. Yeah, six, six just goes places. I've had a few were gay from Avenue Q stuck in my head for two damn weeks. Am I going crazy? No. You're going sane. Your brain is finally starting to make sense of these dark times. I do appreciate that they actually, they're still doing the thing where they color the map if you picked up all the items. That's a uh, shockingly chill of them. I'm trying to remember where those damn bolt cutters were. Yeah. <laughs> if you got a metal plate, just put it on the right side of her neck. The zombies wouldn't know what to do. Damn. Jill is super cool. I'm gonna say it. Don't need that right now. I don't need this until I get the bolt cutters, so I might as well dump it. Oh, you're close to flipping the clock? You're gonna have to wait until, uh, another Witcher stream, but... That probably won't be long. <sighs> Dimma did that stuff a bit different. Oh, okay. If you're straight in 2020, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have yet to learn. I'm still out here being a heterosexual cis white man. Who's most easily scared at Funhouse? I mean, probably Adam. Oh, wait. There's... Hold on a second. Oh, it's... Okay. Everything's on the grid here. What? That was an electro grenade? What the hell? Uh, that I did not expect. Ow. Fuck! No! Okay, yeah. If you if you get the timing wrong on the first one, they don't let you just spam it and get away. Which is kind which is kind of fair. Fuck. I have a- Oh! Okay, okay. Hold on. It's like the Makiri counter. Kind of- Yeah, a little bit? Except you don't- I thought- I thought I remember there being a counter in this game that would let you do damage. There's really no reason to... Shit. He's closing in. Fuck, man. Using all... It wasn't the electric grenade? You set off the power blocks? Oh, okay. Gonna have to get better at uh, knowing these environmental kill, op kill options. Okay. God damn, man. Both these guys are still up. I'm... Trying to having a great day. First thing my wife did when she woke up was to announce out of nowhere that she was gonna go buy a switch. When she got home, she made biscuits and gravy from scratch. Just accepted a job after a job offer after looking damn near a year, and now I'm gonna go transfer some homebrewed beer into kegs and get it carbonated. I have plenty of celebratory beverages this evening. Death John, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing your good news. I'm very happy for you. Use all of that we can. Want to try making bread? You should. Bread is not that hard to make, and it's pretty goddamn delicious. Uh, random disorder. Thank you for the prime sub. Yeah, man, you're crushing it in life, dude. Enjoy. Might distract me from my wanting to shave or bleach my hair. Uh, yeah, probably. My hair's getting really fuzzy too. Oh, this thing. Okay. All right. Good to know. Those things will stun zombies and allow me to run past.
Inventory's looking a little scarce already. Um, I wonder if the zombies are, are deterministic. Uh, like, if there's so many zombies in an area until another story event. So if you actually manage to take them all out. I want to make macarons too, but don't have almond flour. Hmm. I made three loaves of banana bread these past two weeks. Nice, Bella. Uh, yeah, Stephanie made banana bread and life has been good. I haven't had my breakfast of choice yet, though, which is just coffee and a big old slice of banana bread. I will definitely do that eventually. I don't have enough bullets for you, dick. Shit. At least he's on the ground. I'm gonna pen myself in by running in here. Uh, no? Oh, okay, thanks for doing that. It says there's an item in this area somewhere. I wants to find zits. A little wine to wind down the day. Need baking motivation? It seems like you're getting it. I'm trying to motivate you. Do it. Ugh. That's interesting. This door is locked, but it, it has a... Wait. Oh, I can't go in there either. That's chained. Yes. That is chained. Um. Oh, car trunk? Good suggestion. I forgot. Sometimes you can open car trunks. Nope. Good idea, though. Maybe it's in the car? Aha! Oh, don't stand. Dude! Ah! So, I'm curious, if you come at him directly from the head, if you apply the knife directly to the head, do they, uh... Man, those are some great, great animations, though. There we go. As a cis male, that's no experience of the female anatomy. I'm pretty sure I know what's healthy for women. Now you're doing it. Now you're talking real 2020. Oh, maybe that door? Knife got kind of nerfed. It seemed like it. Oh, that's why I can't go here. Oh, wait. Shit. Okay, I don't need the bolt cutters. Right. I was out here for a long ass time. Uh. What's the fastest... Yeah, I'll just go down to the donut shop. It's a good name for a game. Resilient as zombies. We're technically all supposed to be pretty resilient, yeah? Female anatomy is such a mystery. We might we might as well just give up. We might, might as well give up and also blame them. That's my favorite combination of things. Hey, if you, if you wanted any kind of satisfaction in this game... You, your shit should just be less complicated. That's not something that I can take credit for. Don't forget you can shoot them in the legs. Uh, does that work? Uh, I guess, yeah, I, I just got that trained out of me by trying to play the uh, Survivor Stories in RE2. So, maybe, uh... You can also just, if you just... It's, it's interesting, too, because they, like, have pretty explicit staggers, so if you can... If you pop them in the face, you have to do that like four times and then they'll go brar, And then you can, uh... Wait, where was the... Where was the... Is it this? I think it's this, right. Yeah, women don't even poop. What's that all about? How is that even a thing? Technically, women shouldn't be alive. Also, I have a feeling that this is gonna make... Mr. Nemesis show up. There. Don't trust something that doesn't poop. You shouldn't. Oh, didn't quite. Oh, all right. Because you know, you know what you can trust. Doggos. You know what doggos do? They poop. Basically all the time. I'm gonna go on a limb and say the more that something poops, the more you can trust it. I think that's fair to say. 
Yeah, ice cream truck. I'm glad we... It's nice to still hear the ice cream truck. Can you be see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effect. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! No! What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, I'm, yeah, I barely remember this guy. soft. I wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have like Victor or something like that? There's your sense of self-preservation. Can't remember this guy's name. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Yeah, voice acting in this is real solid so far. July 10th, 202 pounds, 12 laps at the yard, two circuits. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job, a job. Don't know how they're gonna wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever, I'll take it. Be shitting away the rest of my life in days behind bars. I gotta get back into shape. So 26, 100, 196 pounds, 20 kilometer run, three circuits, target practice at 400 yards, five misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a US, UBCS training camp where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. It doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. August 15th, 190 pounds, 30 kilometer run, three circuits, target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, got my shoot, shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people, and goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? Okay, that is his name. Oh. He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. September 25th, 181 pounds, 30 kilometer run, four circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby! You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission, riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people right up until these street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change, the way I know him best. Ah, uh, well, Nikolai had other plans. Shouldn't have stolen his biscuits. Yeah, street punks, gangbangers killed my brother. I mean, the writing, the writing is, is another thing, but... Uh, I should probably go get that shotgun. Actually, I should probably go loot all the stuff that I can now that I have the bolt cutters. Alright. Um, unless they've respawned zombies. Otherwise, this is a... I'm worried that fence is going to come down and then I'll have to deal with all that. No, well, seems like... Seems like it's wide open. Very 90s writing. Yeah. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's intentional or if it's just like, eh. It's writing in a video game. Who cares? Another fancy box. It's true. Those dang gangbangers. Here in LA, I can't go outside without seeing gangbangers. Killed my brother. I just want to take them all out. Why does it wait? Hold on. Why does this bottle of I'm gonna guess tequila? May your glass always be half feel? Is that a why? Why is it a why? Also, why is there a lime wedge shoved inside of the bottle? It wouldn't even fit the neck. Maybe that's on, but the, it's like it's above the la the label. Love umbrella noodles, though. Have you seen L anything in LA through the smog? That's why gangbangers wear bright colors, so you know you know when they're coming. Oh, there's a healing item in here. What's that all about? Oh, first aid spray, sick. Can make the bottle around the lime. <laughs> Imagine how expensive that would be, and like, if that were like actually the marketing push of your liquors, like we, we put a whole lime into all of our all of our bottles, and form the bottle around it so that you get the primo drinking experience. I feel like, oh yeah, that's right, it was in the subway. So 
Through the donut shop, okay. Cost is no object when you're working for the consumer. You're right. If you actually care about your customers, if you were really pro-consumer, uh, then you you don't care. You'll you'll fabricate a bottle around a lime because you know that's what that's what people crave. Oh, can I go through this yet? I can. I feel like I want that shotgun first, though. Squasher, thanks for the resub. What's up, sir? What's up, sir Abby? Do I live on the same block as Will Smith? Probably. You get kind of used to seeing celebrities all over, so it's just not a big deal, you know. Yeah, Keanu's here too. I just I wave at him. I'll be out. I'll be out in my my gym busting out my squats, and Keanu will just roll up and we'll talk for a bit. Be like, hey, bro, nice squats. Be like, yeah, they are. Thank you. We'll high five. We high five a lot, Keanu and I. Yeah, rolls up on his motorcycle, the sunglasses. Hey, bro, good squatting. Have seen the Doom, Pernal, Doom Eternal third person mod? I've seen third person footage of it. Of Doom Slayer just running around all angry. Deedly, 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 deedly. Yeah, and then he asks you for my autograph. And I'm like, Keanu. Like, it's for my daughter. Well, I can't can't say no to Cheryl. You know we're close. What's up, I believe? Hope we're all having a good Friday. I'm having a pretty great Friday so far. Can't lie. A little NGL action. Good Friday. Not the, uh, not the holiday, but just the state of affairs. Do I have a green herb? No. Should I... Yeah, I should go drop off that jewel. Bring the shotgun shells with me now. We met Keanu's wife? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we talk about... We talk about, uh, 90s, um, rom-coms a lot. She's into those. Really want to read my slash fic? I mean, it's just every day. And how dare you call it fic? Is there... I've seen people get upset about the pairings and tenor of slash fanfictions. So what is, what is the etiquette, or is there any, of what you're allowed to slashify? Maybe it's determined per... Per community. <laughs> when the fanfic biz call them fix. True. You're gonna be in John Wick 4? Yeah, actually. I was actually in all the John Wicks, um, spiritually. If you if you use the right sun if you wear the right glasses, you can see my ghost kinda hovering over the whole thing. Explosion would definitely alert Nemesis. I don't think I don't think this game works that way. Shit! I used that barrel way too early. Oh boy. Doesn't help that I'm missing shots too. Perhaps I shouldn't be doing that. Time for some cheese and mac. Yeah, dead guy. And uh, somebody somebody earlier in chat was uh. I was remarking that they were putting on some weight during the quarantine. I think I think that's probably a pretty common thing. Shouldn't have done that. Should have just shot Gunder. I'm trying I'm trying my best to uh, experience shipper here. Usually a ship is all right as long as there are no miners, etc. People tend to frown on shipping real life people, but it depends on the community. K-pop stands cough. Understood. I was, yeah, I was, I was like, it, would it be considered okay in the community to, to ship, like, myself and Keanu? Um, not that I need to. I think our relationship is at a point where that's unnecessary, but, um, it did make me think, like, yeah, it's, I get that it's fantasy, uh, but it does, it, you know, it does kind of, it goes into a gray area of consent, I feel like. So did intermittent fasting about two months ago. I've lost seven, eight kilograms so far. Cosmic War Infinite, congratulations. That's awesome. I've, uh, get an Arch Motorcycle sponsorship? What, what are those? 
Is it possible for you to read Sonic fanfiction on Twitch once you have finished Batman? Sure. I don't see why not. Although I would, I would definitely at that point probably need to get permission from the author. Uh, if, if they're around and reachable. That's the sort of thing where I... I feel like that's, that's like, that's like more hot, more current, um, than a book that even, even the distributor doesn't probably know that they hope to have the rights to anymore, so. I'm surprised you don't know. Oh, Arches Kiona's own custom motorbike company, gotcha. I'm not, I'm not super into bike culture, uh, really. Oh wait, does that trash can mean you don't need it anymore? Um, yeah, definitely ask the author. Yeah. Just read My Immortal instead. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard that's pretty classic. Although, everyone knows My Immortal, right? So, it's, is, is there any fun left to be mined out of that? They're $80,000? Whoa. Just like the bike culture getting laid. You know me too well. So, okay. So, I have the bolt cutters now. Did I... What do I do now? Um, maybe I can go through this door? What did I pick up? What did I pick up recently? I can't remember. I have a favorite conspiracy theory? Hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't say I have a favorite, no. QAnon shit would be way more fun if there weren't a critical mass of people who actually believe in it. Um, did you go back to that dude? Oh, right, 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 where that guy got shot. Uh, I have to go up those stairs. That was... where was that? Um... Um... Uh, here, I think? Yeah, okay. Hyperlight Drifter? That game's really good. Um... Peralta 99. How, uh, how... is it on sale or something? If it's under 10 bucks, I think you can't... pretty much can't go wrong with it. Yeah, go back to Victor. Right. 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 My Immortal is a Harry Potter fanfic, and for a while it was debated it was written seriously or a satire of all tropey and cringy fanfic writing styles. Yeah. I haven't read any of it, um, but uh, my understanding is that it's pretty well known on the internet. Um, enormous box. Type great. It would be nice if you had this one. Now that. That's A-plus salesmanship right there. Oh, yeah! Bella, the Avril Lavigne getting replaced by a body double is really, really good. That one's a fun one. Uh, Flat Earth's always a good time. Time Cube is, is classic. Looks like you dropped some bullets there, champ. Suicide note. Oh boy, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. Thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. But this job? This one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. Oh, that now, Jess? Alright. Do some chores. Catch you guys next time. I understand that. Chores, 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 chores. No one gets away from them. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through this and I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Feels like a noir voiceover. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little spooky with it. One of the interesting things about reading lore in games is that you have no idea what it says before you start reading it, so that makes it kind of hard to like settle on a, a contextual, contextually appropriate voice. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electricians Guild. Due to the ongoing power shortages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to... <laughs> One were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. Uh, handwritten note. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. 
What's the candle cam? Oh, are you looking at the... the that's, that's something that I turn on when I'm playing Witcher. I have a, another webcam on my desktop. Ow, fuck. That I use to show a candle. Okay, so two bullets. Shit. Oh, wait. Wait, maybe not. Oh, okay, never mind. Fuck! No! Jesus. Turning over, what does it do? Uh, I mean, so, I, there's also a... In, in the candle cam, there's also a, a, an hourglass, but... Again, that's only when the candle cam is on. It's not on right now, so... Um... Yeah, so those are all gimmicks for for another another stream setup that I occasionally use. A yeah, romance cam. You get to see me go and smooch stuff. I don't like this. I don't like this. I also don't have a lot of bullets. I do have one grenade though. I'll have to remember that. Anything in this car? No. Smooch. Uh, but yeah, like, so just to warn you guys, in about 30 minutes. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. Never mind. My sister got a headache. So, I won't have to. I mean, I'm gonna take a break in a little bit. Um, just to get some food, but, uh, yeah, I was, I thought I was gonna have to take a big old break to talk to, talk to my family, but my sister decided she is not up to it, so I will continue playing this instead. Maybe she could use some G Fuel. She probably could. My sister puts down caffeine like a, like it's going out of style. I'm getting, I'm getting there myself, too. If I'm being honest. Coffee in the morning, a little shot of G Fuel in the afternoon. I I haven't I haven't upgraded to, to full on big daddy sh big daddy doses of G Fuel yet though. I still do like a half scoop. That just makes it even more even more money efficient. Caffeine is such a slippery slope. Yeah, it can be if you re especially if you rely on it for uh, for productivity. I was getting there. Um, 2019 at Rooster Teeth was was so goddamn goddamn packed that uh, each day I was like two to three cups of coffee just to get everything done that I needed to get done. Um, I don't know that I ever really developed a dependence, but I also haven't tried to go off caffeine for like more than a few days. Yeah, gee, whoa. You know what, Waffle Wiz, you're right. G Fuel also makes a non-caffeinated powder for rehydration and electrolytes and vitamins, so... Shotgun disappear if you change to the pistol. It's back there. I wonder, is there a grenade on her belt, too? Ah, oh, there's not. Okay, that'd be cool. I guess it's technically in, like, a pouch. Wait, where does it come from? So, let's see. Okay, she pulls it out of her, like, hip, hip pocket. Hip! Yep, yeah, okay. Bad G Fuel is shipping really late. Oh, are they backed up on shipping or something? Must be because I am just selling too much G Fuel, moving that product. What are electrolytes? They're what gamers crave. Hmm, okay, wait. I just, uh, uh, you know what games run on? Electricity. You know what sounds like that? Electrolytes. Ipso facto. You need electrolytes. <laughs> On my old job, I used to drink two cans of Bang Energy, which told 600 milligrams of caffeine. Damn. I have never, I have never mainlined caffeine that hard. Like, I have a Red Bull, and I, I am jump, jumped. And, like, that's good. I never want to lose that. I never want to develop that, like, that, uh, that, um, callus to, to stimulants. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. Gee, I wonder if that will attract a nemesis. 
Bang also has pre-workout? Yeah. I think, um... Wait. Put the rest on a card and he pulls out Mad on the PS2 and his card is just in there? Wait, what? That sounds like a really good, uh... Like a really good story. Somebody's using PS2 copy of Madden as their wallet. <laughs> Coinbro99 Jr., thank you for the sub. Uh, that's awesome. Man, that, that's, that's a... Oh, Christ, what's happening in here? Oh, set it all on fire. Oh, God. Smells like... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Scroll up a little bit. Actually, now that I'm in borderless window, I can. Little sister works at ShopRite. This middle-aged guy comes to her register last night, and she's like, Okay, sir, that'll be $180. And he's like, Okay. Reaches into a jacket and pulls out a DVD copy of Flushed Away. Op opens it up to reveal his money is in there, and he hands her a $100 bill. And he's like, Oh, I'll pay the rest on card. And he pulls out Madden on the PS2, and his card is just in there. I guess maybe he's like, maybe he's gotten jumped before, and he doesn't want... His, like, maybe he just has, like, a condom and, and 25 cents in his wallet. So that if they take that, he's, like, he's good. That man is absolutely living in the future. Alright, let me go get that red herb. <sighs> Flushed away would never get stolen, exactly. It was, like, what? There was, like, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, man. Let me see if I can find it. There's, a, there's an amazing picture on the internet. Uh, there's like, there's a picture of somebody who has America by Heart, the like Sarah Palin book, except he hollowed out a square in it. Inside is a, is a Creed CD, and inside the Creed CD is his copy of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> but it's like the series of photos of like opening up the book and then opening up the CDs. <laughs> oh, collectible in top corner, thank you. Oh, you're right. Uh, that's one of the many, ah, shit, that's one of the many photos that's, uh, that is in my rotation. There's another item in here, too. You are correct, sir. Oh, look at that. What? God, how did I not see that? That's the most important thing. I mean, I was gonna stash my gun, actually, but now I guess I don't need to? Uh, Cryotin, I gotcha. You went to look at my asshole.com. Well, welcome to the stream, sir. My brilliant marketing plan has, uh, has borne yet more fruit. Ooh. Green herbs. They work! Hell yeah, they do. I had a teacher who lived in Mexico in the 90s and used two wallets. One for getting mugged and one for his actual use. Jeez. Yeah, throwing the fake wallet. It was probably just actually Scott Stapp that did it. <laughs> Uh Can you take me higher to a higher cod laver? There should be an audio pack for Call of Duty that replaces every level up riff with a sick creed riff. First Creed album was awesome, no irony. I actually haven't listened to it, but now I think I have to on Dead Guy. Uh, I need to listen to every Creed album. It was starting to look like Chad was never going to come back from his round, so I poked my head out there and fuck me. Next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat. I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman, and then I saw it. A green herb. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent, so I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed it, and what do you know? Well, things don't want to be in there anymore. Never been so happy to throw up. I'm gonna head back out there and look for Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember, eat your greens! Resident Evil bugs hate weed, which is why they must be stopped. The key to the, key to the high voltage area has gone missing, and the earliest we'll be able to get a replacement is in is next week. In the interim, a lockpick will be provided to the senior employee on duty. We only have one lockpick and cannot afford to lose it, so please keep it in its carrying case at all times when you're not using it. And please, could you all check once more that you did not accidentally take the key home? If you happen to find it, please bring it to Kate and Admin. Are the are the lockpicks consumable in this game? I guess I'll find out. Do Max just crawl in people's mouths? Sometimes. In Resident Evil time. 
Gonna stab this zombie. Do 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 do. Oh. Is maggot infestation like a status effect in this game? Oh my god. I've got worms in my barrel. Got to eat a green herb, yeah. Okay. Steph doesn't like Creed. It's official. I'm driving me nuts with the Creed. You don't like music? You don't like art? Jeez. Steph. You look great, though. You know, fancy? You just getting fancy? Well, because we're gonna drink. So, I figured, you know, in this quarantine, might as well. I agree with that. Yeah. Is that new? This was the Lucy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks good. Except, like, you can tell that I think it's just still made for taller ladies. I'm not that short. Well, you're probably supposed to have heels on, too, right? Yeah, maybe, like, it little a couple inches. Marib marabou slides, perhaps. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would get you off the ground a little bit. Yeah. Looks good. you cute. cute. Um, do you have a preference for which drink? Oh, are we starting? Um, well, I was going to make one. Oh, okay. No, no preference at all. Okay. Uh, well, let me, let me go over what we have. Okay. Because I ordered. Uh, I ordered the rum old fashioned, although I think that might only be one. No, I think it's two, it should be two drinks. Is that the one that goes with the giant ice brick? Yes. I would think so, yeah. Um, yeah, so there's rum old fashions. I got a Mai Tai. I got Southeast Spice Trade, don't even know what's in it. And then a Zombie King, which just sounds great. Huh. Um, I actually put the drinks away with that. I don't know what fucking thing goes with what. I'm I sure you'll remember that. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Hmm. That seems like a Mai Tai. No, those seem like Mai Tais. Nice pink couch. Oh, that? Yeah. Stephanie, Stephanie fell in love with it. And then I realized I could... Uh, I think the Southeast Spice trade is this one with the spiced oranges. I that would make sense. Just edible flowers. I got the glasses. Let's just do real old fashions. Let's okay. start off strong. Let's do it. Uh, which glasses were they? Were they the ones over here on the cart? Okay. Yeah, you might want to um, wash those out, uh, or at least clean them because the the cart was there when I was for breezing down the old couch. Oh, okay. So I might have gotten some Febreze mist into those glasses. Okay. Yeah, it's Friday night. Well, it's not Friday night yet, but it's Friday, whatever. It's time to get fucked up. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a Danky Kang shirt. This is an old Uniqlo shirt. The Uniqlo line that, or uh, the Uniqlo Nintendo collaboration was awesome. Oh, you lost your glasses screws? Ugh, man, that sucks, dude. You can, um, you can get replacement, uh, glasses screws pretty much anywhere. They, they sell, like, whole jeweler's kits that will help you repair your glasses. Get yourself a zombie cocktail. We're gonna, don't, mm, we're gonna get through all of them. Don't worry about that. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. Trying to play some American Truck Simulator? Yeah. Hey, the truck drivers are the heroes now. Um, slash thighs, I have not missed God of War. Uh, or rather, I have not finished God of War. Alright. Shit. Do I have to... Oh, that's terrible. I don't want to eat a... Uh, don't make me eat a mixed herb just for this. Shit. What happens if you don't? I guess I have a first aid spray. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a new mechanic. I mean, it's kind of like being poisoned in the other Resident Evils. Oh, thank God. Okay. Hold on. 
I guess it kind of closes in on the sides of the, mo the monitor. Okay, and it does damage over time. Blah, blah. Whoa! Wait, whoa, whoa. What hit me? Wow, what it's. Oh, shit. Crap. Okay. Huh. No, 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 no! <laughs> okay. If you if you pull the sights after a dodge, you get a you get slow-mo. Okay, there is a counterattack. Whew. I wonder if uh, I wonder if you're in slow mo. I wonder if you um, I wonder if you get bonus damage too. God, man, praise praise God for the dodge. What a great mechanic. It does kind of illustrate how like ah. How sometimes uh, mobility and agency are the opposite of horror. Um, no bonus damage, you shoot a bit faster though. Okay, thank you, Captains. Get, this. Get that herb first. LA Life. Smoke weed every day. Dodge's OG invented when cellular life was. Guessing that a million fucking bugs are gonna. Hey! Come after me now. Speedrunners created their own dodge mechanic in RE2 Remake? Yeah? Oh man. I didn't know that. I thought I saw a speedrun of RE2 during one of the GDQs, but maybe not. Wouldn't have to crack open this monster if I had some damn G fuel. You're right. You'd be saving money. You'd be probably drinking less sugar, unless it's a sugar-free monster. You'd be able to fine-tune the dosage you get of caffeine, and you'd have a variety of delicious flavors like peach iced tea. Yeah! Thank you, Kitsune. I will say though that like, even though I love how much you you guys are are like being being chill and kind of playing into the, the sponsorship thing, I do still really. Oh, did they come out of the buttholes? Okay, are they just unlimited bugs? Uh, I do want you to keep me honest though. Like, if the sponsor stuff is getting too heavy, if it's getting too inauthentic, if it's getting too cash grabby feeling, let me know. Um, I don't want that to ever get in the way of. Of our, our beautiful Twitch friendship. Ah, oh, fuck. They do come out of the holes. Alright. Got a sweet scene achievable though. Need that green cheese, we cool? Okay. I know I know it can get Oh fuck. I know it can it can get too too much though. So I just wanna make sure that always on the uh, respectful side of, of money getting. Shit! Fuck! How am I doing? Caution? Okay. I'm not in trouble yet, but I am blowing through ammo faster than I would like. Although I'm pretty sure if they respawn, I just gotta keep moving. Fuck, man. When they're on the ceiling like that, you can barely, barely see them. Oh, shit. Right. Damn it! Wasn't there a grate in the way? Yeah. That is, in fact, not great. Okay, I got it. Ow! Well, Roy, I'm, I'm talking about G Fuel. I'm talking about everything. Like, um. Fuck! Dude! This is getting absurd, man. Oh, this is bad. These guys get on your ass. Okay, well, as long as I got shotgun chills, I shouldn't be trying to be too conservative. Okay. God 
Damn it, I'm using all of my ammo. This this is concerning me. But I'm pretty sure once you get out of here, you never have to come back, so... It feels like that kind of sequence. Hmm. As long as they support you? Okay, Roy. Well, you know. I still feel like there are boundaries there. All that leaves is the main power switch. Um, I still feel like... I can get supported too much. Yeah, that part was cool. I like that split hair. I probably should... Yeah, I feel like... I kind of put myself into a rough corner. Uh, about burning through so much ammo. Because I was doing pretty good until then, but... Um... Did I... Do I have any more healing items? Did I stash any? I don't think I did. Okay, well... I did pick up everything down... No, I didn't. Wait, what? Is this the... Okay, no, that's the previous room. Alright. Ghost for it. Off to work. See you guys tomorrow. No worries, man. Oh! Is it booze time? Is it motherfucking booze time? Cheers, Steph. Cheers, Lawrence. To a delightful Friday. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. So, wow. That has a, an intense amount of flavor. So that was a little bottle that they had it in. And then they oh, also gave us ice. The goods and grog mm -hmm. from, uh, from Strongwater. Mm-hmm. Anaheim? Yes, that's why I drove to Anaheim. Oh, that's why it took so long. Okay. Yes, I drove to Anaheim. There's there's no other real tiki bars that are doing this right now, but they are allowing you to pick up their cocktails to go. Huh. And we can some probably of them use this bottled. for some of our, like if we ever make dram or uh, something we like could, that. And then um, this is the, I bought their banana cane syrup. So you could mix it with rum, cocktails, and lime. Ooh. So they, they're they making... It looks like it has lime in it already. Uh, I, it may have a little bit. Yeah, there's like a, there's some pulp in there? Uh, I think so. Um, but they the drink that they recommend is putting a little bit of fresh lime juice in there too. Okay. Um, for like a, like a mixed drink. They have cocktails that are specifically for use with these. Cool. Make your own hot sauce? It's not a bad idea. <sighs> Life. Thank you, Steph. Yeah. Wonderful. So whenever you want more. And then there's also wings, because I bought those wings. I put them in the fridge, though. Oh, okay. So we just have to, we can reheat them. They probably won't be as saucy. Um, but I had to order food. That's the, that is the rule in California, is you have to order food if you're going to order booze to go. <laughs> that's fine with me. I wonder if that's like, I wonder if that's just like the restaurant restaurant industry being like, just slip this in there so people buy more stuff. Or I don't. I wonder why that would be. Maybe I don't it's just know. a regulation I pretty thing. well because they they have like a kitchen. They have bags that are sealed up, and you just pull up along the side on the curb and say, "Hi, I'm here," and they go, "Okay," and then they come outside and they like pass it through my like passenger window. Yeah. Damn. And then I um, had a nice speedy time on the highway. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing. Nothing going on. Yeah, I mean, there's like pockets of cars, and then I also realized that I should not be a complete speed demon, but it was the first, one of the first times that I've been out on the highway, mm -hmm. and then, you know, turned on the rev, and then was able <laughs> to be like, woo! Had the sunroof open, it was glorious, um, which was nice to get out for a little bit. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get the good things while we can. Yeah. Get some sun, get some wind, get some rock music, get some cocktails. Yeah, so... There, there are other ones. Please enjoy this one, though. Great. It's pretty delightful. Thank you, Steph. Oh, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense because alcohol is classified as non-essential. I thought, I thought the liquor stores were still open, though. I could be wrong. <sighs> Steph is absolutely the best. 100%. Hello, Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. <laughs> it's essential to alcoholics. Really? Way to go, partner. True enough. Step ahead. Not your partner. Damn, Chill. Chill's a hard ass. I love it. Cam, thank you. Appreciate that, Amador. Still on face cam. You guys got the lore. You're right, though. Shut up, chat. It makes me wonder how long it would take if uh, 
If you guys actually actually all chipped together and, and hard trolled me. How long it would take. This is what I came to see. <laughs> I uh I'm glad that I got that new card in there. I don't know why I didn't do that last night. I should have just should have just done it. I got I got too comfy. Actually there is a reason. There is a reason that I'm not allowed to talk about. Just a few sips and you already forgot to switch camps. It's it's an old fashioned, my bro my bro. It's uh it's a strong drink. A rum old fashioned, by the way. Looks way better now with the new card. Does it act I was wondering if it actually would look better. Um, because I had my suspicions that the previous card was actually dropping more frames. Like um I would record something and then go through and frame step it, and it would still just like whiff frames that were totally there. So I, I had the Gen 1 of the uh the internal 4K card. It's smoother. Mmm. Nice. Nice. Because, yeah, I swear the old card was just dropping frames. It just wasn't processing video uh, fast enough. I'm not sure about a comparison, but this looks really nice. Yes. 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 Um, yeah, I got pretty much everything. Uh, there's one more stream upgrade to do. Mm. I have a... Uh, hold on a second. I have a... Uh. Actually, a resonator were here, but... Uh, I have a, I have a new, uh, I don't know what you would technically call this. I know that is it, it is a DAC, but it's a lot more than that. It's, but it's a really small, like, a uh, mic interface. And then I have a XLR mic that we got, that we use for Drunk Eternal. I gotta go pick it up from Bruce's place. But, uh, I will have even better video quality soon, too. Soon. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to plug that in, though. My, uh, the, the gaming lab, as I call it, the... The factory where I crank out hot video game plays. Uh, there are a lot of outlets being t took up with this whole thing. Yeah, real streamer. It's happening, you guys. Got a real cam. Got a real. D got a near focus DSLR. Um, got got a fully functional capture setup. Finally, this is this has been a source of repeated stress for me for a while. So it's good to actually swap it out. Does anyone know where to get an Elgato cam link? I have looked for hours, they seem to be sold out. That was my impression too, Kitsune, actually. I've had multiple people, well, multiple may be strong, but incidental people being like, hey, you got you got any of them cam links? Um, what is, how does he, does he just step through? He does, all right. Uh, I think there was a loop-de-loop -loop in here where I can, I can, get around him. I need you to come this way! Woo! Yeah. Seeing Nemesis just, like, you know, eat, like, open a door like that is pretty, pretty, pretty wacky. Uh, let me make sure that I know where I'm going. Okay. So back there, bud. Ah, fuck. Shit! Thought I could. Thought I could. Uh, thought I could escape. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They've respawned. They've respawned zombies, which sucks. Not until I get traffic control online. What? Are you sure? That you want to wait for that? I mean, oh, this. Okay, the safe houses are locked. Oh wait, no, this is the safe house. Man, it would be sick if there's a first aid spray in here. That would be sick. What do you think of the game so far? I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, it seems like a lot of the. I didn't even see what it was. Hey, look at that. A lot of the big complaints that I saw in reviews and stuff, I haven't really encountered yet. Namely, the lack of runtime. Um, but. I'm really enjoying it so far. The it plays well. It looks amazing. Um, the voice acting is really good. The writing's solid. Some of the some of the text logs are a little video gamey, but the dialogue has been on point so far. Yeah, split here. I'm kind of of the same opinion. I like short games too. I like short, uh, dense, difficult, interesting games. I don't mind the like. I don't mind games being a roller coaster. Uh, we had a ton of that. 
in like the advent of the 360 PS3 era. And then, I guess people got tired of games being like six hours long. Then we had this whole wave of just like, just cram as much shit in there as you can. I guess like after GTA V, people learned that games that have like nearly unlimited replayability. Ah, oh, shit, I went on the wrong side. Get up! Go! Um, I don't remember where traffic control is. Uh, is it the subway control? Bring the trains to the line the subway office. Yes, it is. Okay, so I gotta go through the donut shop. Alright. Well, there's another uh, lockpick in there, too. We're hours into the stream, crushing hard on Jill. Yeah, Jill's a great character so far. Woo! So he will get your ass from behind. Hey! Nemesis can't... Okay, he cannot come into safe rooms. God, I'm already in danger. Damn! Wow, one SWAT. I guess it was technically two. That makes sense. I might have to toss some grenades at this chonker to get past him. So it's to the left. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping there'd be another first aid spray in there, but I didn't get this lucky. If you can hit him with a grenade, you get a nice little treat. Alright, well. I did just save, so... Oh, you're right! Oh, that's right! He, he drops weapon parts, right? I forgot about that. That was that was a whole thing in three of like if you could stun him, you could get weapon upgrade p parts from him. But it was like a it was a game to decide whether or not it was worth using that fuck. Uh, worth using the ammunition on him. Yeah. Okay. This is not good though. These these boys here. Yep. This is why we don't shoot the legs so much. Damn it! Ah, he's got me. That actually gave you ammo? Actually, that was red. You're right. Um, alright, well, I'll get that again. It is interesting, the, uh, the recovery on the, um, the, the dodge is pretty extensive. It's an interesting bit of, uh... I am, I, I really like this current trend of like, not necessarily needing to shy away from video gamey things. Of like hitting him with a, uh, hitting him with a, uh, uh, grenade, or grenade so a giant comical treasure chest pops out of him. I like that. Okay, gotta get past these, these motherfuckers. Can't remember. Yeah, there's still a locked thing in here. I'm gonna need to get that. Hopefully it's... I did not get the shotgun stock, uh, but I haven't explored all that much yet. Not since I got the... There's a ton of... Um... Oh! Pick it up! There's a ton of lock pickable doors I haven't opened. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for the resub. Okay. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, no shotgun stock yet. Oh, Captains, you made you made me worried for a second. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, I'm Super Cop. <laughs> Consider it done. Redstone Street, Faust Avenue. That looks like a three. To Raccoon Central Station. Should be raw. Raw! Uh, that also looks like a three. That's probably a two then. A two. And then St. Michael's Clock Tower.
That is definitely a two, though. Fox Park Station, which I can't change. All right, so none of those look like a four. Let's try three. Three, three. Okay. Unable to establish route. Please try again. To, to, oh, that has to be two. All right. Well, maybe this is wrong. That's Market Street. Valid route confirmed. Carlos, it's me. Oh. I finished inputting the subway route. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Someone who's never played a Resident Evil, should I start with the remakes or the older ones? The remakes. I think those are those are totally fine. I don't know that there's a whole lot that the older games would get you that the remakes don't. Aside from nostalgia. Which is fine. They're they're good games. They're just a little chunky, a little chunky, a little hard, maybe a little harder to play these days. Definitely have a lot more technical limitations that were incorporated into the game design that may not make... You may not be so willing to accept nowadays. Plan on making some merch soon? I do have a merch shop up. I just have a few shirt designs up there, but it's nothing big right now. Um, basically up there is a test to see how it performs. Um, ah. Dude! Dude! Okay. Um, just to see how interested people are and whether or not I should try and put more designs up and stuff like that. So, yeah. Thank you, Kaylee. Are the new ones just as spooky? Uh, it's a matter of, matter of opinion, I guess. Alright, so now I have to go back to the safe station, I guess? Uh, the subway station? Looks like I picked everything pretty clean. Um, there's this door here that I never went through. Yeah, that was that had a, a lock, lock pickable lock on it, so I might as well pick that up on the way back. Unless I'm getting dogged by Nemesis, in which case, damn it! I have to figure that out. Might as well save while I'm here. Gonna get that BFG shirt when paid. All right, up to you guys. Uh, I know that I know that money can be a little tight and a little weird right now, so. Um, Absolutely no pressure. Uh, I feel like I should reinforce that. If you don't have to give me shit, if uh, if you got to take care of yourself, definitely don't want you guys to feel like you're obligated. What the hell is it doing to them? No, yeah, you got me with the double. Shit. Am I already in danger? I am. Nope, wrong button. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whew. Oh, another chance for a little gamer treat. Oh, if you knock down Nemesis again. Turn 24 tomorrow. Who wants to get fucking trash with me tonight? I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of there. I'm, uh, Steph got a bunch of tiki cocktails. Good spot for a nade. I agree. What the hell is it doing today? Is there any tell that Nemesis has another crate that's tucked inside of him? Whoa! Tightens the firing pattern. Greater chance of critical. Holy crap. Amen. Oh, it makes it double wide though? Alright, well. Can't win them all. Yeah, the little box falling out is so great. Very, very Capcom, I feel like. I don't know if there's a tail, but he always drops at least ammo. Okay, all right. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh. The original Charlie doll was based on the likeness of Toy Uncle's founder, Charlie McBurgan. Charlie McBurgan! 
has become the mascot for the company. We are pleased to present this porcelain Charlie doll as a celebration of our 25th anniversary. Individually handcrafted with love and care by our staff, this limited edition item makes for a precious gift. We hope he'll find his place as a cherished member of your family. Caution, this product is extremely fragile. Take care to not drop or strike it. Oh, Stealth Soft, yeah. I'm glad you got gifted a sub. Yeah, Black Mage is a very righteous chat member. Why is there a star? Stars. I know what star is. Oh. This music this music is great. Uh what you drinking? This is a rum old fashioned from a tiki bar in Anaheim that was doing uh curbside takeaway cocktails. And because Stephanie is amazing and enriches my life in every way, she went and picked some up, so we're having some good drinks tonight. Okay, I guess I gotta cross the street, go through that alleyway. Should I should I have this shotgun stock already? Woo! Okay, the What the fuck? I guess he tried to jump? Shit. I thought I could get the uh thought I could get the dodge. That was not a good call of mine. Okay, we're just gonna... Uh, gotta go around the left, all right? Dude! Hey, maker in my ass. Okay. No! Oh! Hope this theme of more video gamey features and games continues. Doom Eternal's implementation of it felt really fun along with this game. I 100% agree. Um, I, I don't think it's a good or a bad thing. I think we move through trends. It's just like everything else. Um, I do think that we are kind of exiting a long period of games trying to, their hardest to not look like video games. I feel like it's, I swear to God, like the narrative, the narrative will be so pronounced once we get a few years away from it. But there was this whole thing about like, Games had to look like video games, because they... Oh, you need... Wait, I need the jewels? Okay. Um, games had to look like games because they couldn't look like anything else for a long time. And then we had the tech. Then, like, I want to say Gen 7, like 360 PS3, suddenly we had the graphical fidelity and, like, most importantly, like, HD resolutions to have UI and UX and presentation that looked much more cinematic. So the goal was always to make a video game that didn't look like a video game. Oh my god, is it real life or is it a video game? That was like, that was such a weird uh, inferiority complex thing that I feel like a lot of the games industry has finally moved through or are starting to move through. And now I feel like it's moving back to game design. Like game design is what sells games. Um, and it's, uh, that has always been the case. Always been the case. Big flashy games, I guess they sell a little bit, but they don't hit. They don't hit like actually well-designed games do. Uh, minimization of GUI was huge, yeah. Yeah, Dead Space is a really good example. Although Dead Space actually did have pretty fundamental game mechanics to it. They wanted to legitimize games as an art form by making it appear legit. Yeah. It's, um... I do, th I do think that, looking back, it'll be pretty easy to see the, like, inferiority complex in video games. Um in the window when games really started to hit it big, which is silly because they ha games had nothing to prove. They were all always earning more money. Um, there was there was never a question. I think it was just like, it was a cultural thing, a generational thing. Oh, the clock, right. Yes, that big thing. Don't go down. Yeah, thank, thank you guys for, uh, for reminding me. I probably would have forgotten. <laughs> oh, interesting. That's why I don't like Uncharted and Last of Us, because it feels like it should have been a film, not a game. Yeah, those are games those are games are fun rides. I mean fun, maybe not be exactly what Last of Us is, but Um I don't I don't mind games being being big and goofy and loud and expensive. I mean speaking of Resident Evil, it's kind of what six was, for sure. To a lesser degree five, but uh Resident Evil's always had had a fun legacy. The series has gone on for long enough. It's certainly... Yes! Praise God. It's certainly moved through... Does that say Power Stones? Oh, you... Capcom, you bitch. Stop this. Stop these references. Nobody even knows that. Power Stone. Get out of here. 
Um, Uncharted was one hell of a set piece flex. Yeah, and, and that's valid too. Um, I think it's it's fine for your your creation to be whatever you want, as long as it doesn't contradict itself. I do think a lot of games did contradict themselves. Uncharted knew it was a big dumb set piece game, and it really embraced it and and really kind of found the marrow there and pulled it out. A lot of other games tried to be tried to be a movie and then cram in a game somewhere, uh, and like that that weird half and half was just kind of nice job. Sir. Didn't work so well. I'm impressed. We back in business. Yeah, by my opinion. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. God, that lighting, though. How are we doing? Hazy. Down with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Yeah. Why is she here? La Last of Us didn't have very tight game mechanic. Time to start getting dead weight How do you feel about Death Stranding? That's a really good question. Can't pull the trigger when it comes. Oh my God. Hey, take it easy. Um... Death Stranding is interesting because it does have game mechanic. It just doesn't have uh, fail states, which is weird. That's like the one thing. Everyone's a little worked up. Is that it actually does have a pretty solid mechanical game system behind it that encourages decision making and provides consequences to those decisions. It's me, exactly. But the consequences are mostly. Oh, Jesus. Damn, Jill. Jill, big dicking on Carlos like that. Damn it. Come on, you creepy ass stalker! Ah! <laughs> oh no, Jill! Come on! Ah! <laughs> Just turned into red paste. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Um. Come on, you creepy ass crap. stalker! You want stars? I'll give you stars. See what's in it. God of War is the perfect balance of cinematic style and video gaminess. I agree. I agree. I mean, that's that. God of War to me was like it was one of the first games I remember that really started to bring back actual video game mechanic, uh, as opposed to just like bombast. I mean, I guess he's still stunned. Do, if you if you hit uh, Nemesis with one of those environmental things like a an, an electrical dealy, does he drop does he drop stuff then too? This might work. It won't. No, he just stops moving. Okay, so you actually have to use you've got to use an item. Killjoy, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, you look very ugly, thanks for the prime sub. <laughs> Good to see you. Echo5 Delta, thanks for the prime sub. And also, Tomty JMC. 96, thanks for the prime sub. Oh, Kusanaga, hey, sorry. Uh, thanks for the prime sub. I think I missed, I think I missed a chunk. Michael W3, thanks for the prime sub. Sorry, guys. This, this game is, uh, pretty intense. Yeah, you're not you're not the first person to say that Jill looks a little bit like Natalie Portman. I think I can see it. And okay. So I don't know if this is intended, but boy does it really feel at this point like grenades are my get out of Nemesis free cards. You don't actually crawl through a vent. Do you copy? No. Carlos. Oh, shit. But after like after watching Die Hard, I have tried my best to, like, look at vents in buildings and stuff. Most of them are way too small for any human to ever fit inside. Do you watch One Piece? Not yet. Um, One Piece is always a show I've wanted to get into. But, I, I feel like... I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's gonna have to be a... Well, hold on. There, There is an English dub of One Piece, right? One Piece is the sort of show I'd need to, like, watch while I'm working out or something. Which means I can't... It can't be subtitled. Read One Piece, don't watch it. Yeah, future... You're, you're, that was that was James's recommendation. Because I feel like if you're reading through the manga too, you can read at your own pace. So if there's just nothing going on, you can just kind of skim the text and move. Eliando, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did with Bleach. 
I watched up until like halfway through the second season and just stopped a million years ago. <gasps> That's another inventory expansion? If this were Half-Life Alex, I could yank it. Is Gordon Freeman crawling through vents or crouching? He's crouching. And he moves at supersonic speed while crouching because Gordon Freeman has thighs that save lives. Skip one a ton of One Piece early stuff by watching the feature-length movies they made out of the early arcs. Oh, that's, that's yeah, that's handy. Increased sewer security. I wonder if this has any kind of. Oh, you guys got the clips. Nice, nice. You really want to watch hundreds of episodes of one anime at this point? Not especially, no. That's why it would have to be like background incorporation, um, like something that's just passively on, and I just kind of absorb into my brain while I'm doing something else. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hands at all times. I know where this is going. I know exactly where this is going. Please. You're, you're out here dropping goddamn... Power Stone references. I know that, uh... I know that Capcom didn't make this, but I know where this is going. Battery pack. Yep. Get out of here. Oops. Oh. I like how they just have a giant, like, Dreamcast branded battery on top of the back kind of Dreamcast. So good. Sega had such a good sense of humor, man. I guess they still do, sometimes. Oh, Lou Shanks is your name, just Luffy plus Shanks, yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Pip-Boy. In the future, we're gonna have battery-operated Dreamcasts on our backs. And waist-slung keyboards. I need to play Typing of the Dead. Somebody brought that up when I was playing Resident Evil 2. That's an excellent idea. Especially given how loud my keyboard is. Oh, you have a copy on the Wii? Is it, uh, that's Typing of the Dead Overkill, I think? Or... House of the Dead Overkill. Man, Overkill was way better than anyone gave it credit for. That's one of those games that was too smart and funny for its own good, and no one paid attention to it. Man, that game was so, so good. I hope over... Is Overkill on PC? We need a new Choo Choo Rocket. Oh, it's on Steam. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, if I, uh... If I do a, a type, Typing of the Dead stream, it will definitely be overkill, because that game is so good. Need a new Choo Choo Rocket? I don't, I don't disagree. I, Choo Choo Rocket's got to be out on mobile, right? It's a perfect fit. Give me flashbacks of playing pit droids. Wow. Darn old budge. Looks like it needs a power source. Um, which reminds me, when is Jedi Power Battles getting here? I gotta check my eBay shipping. What's Overkill? Uh, a House of the Dead Overkill. It was a, uh, House of the Dead game that came out on the Wii. They eventually made a Typing of the Dead for, uh, Overkill. It was just a new, it was a new Grindhouse style, um, House of the Dead. Am I confusing Overkill and Bulletstorm? You may be. Bulletstorm has Steve Bloom and kicking people into grinders and stuff. House of the Dead over here. Okay! All right. Why does he have little legs? Jesus Christ. These boys look tough, but they're fun to fight. I guess, yeah, am I supposed to shoot it until it dies? I guess. Also, Magic Kool-Aid. Sorry, I haven't shipped out your your sick gun yet, but I will. Thanks for the stream, and if you're still on later, I'll jump back into my girlfriend's account, Umbree. Oh, all right, see ya. Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be streaming for a minute. I want to finish Doom Eternal tonight, um, again, on, an, on Nightmare, so that's the plan. All right, I'm gonna... Wow. Solid throw. I tried to arc it up a little bit. What the fuck was 
that. Yeah, I'm excited. Maybe, uh, maybe Doom Eternal on this new capture card is gonna look slicker than ever. I didn't even read what the stock did. I just put it on. Oops, hold on. Uh, suppresses muzzle rise and increases accuracy. Alrighty. You have to kill it? I don't know. Also, slight, slight hitch to that plan. If I'm, if I'm a, gonna be a couple cocktails in by then, and I will. Uh, that's what happens when you flush a goldfish down the toilet. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my dooming skills may be a bit, uh, deteriorated. Oh, wait. Acid rounds. Damn it. Oh, yes. I remember. The grenade launcher was like a staple weapon because there were 18 different kinds of grenades in 3. It's weird. I'm just, I'm getting all these weird flashes from watching my, my homie play it way back in the day. I wonder what he's up to. That was, that was a chill-ass dude. Jeff? Jeff was an awesome guy. Um, I remember, like, I absorbed a lot of, uh, like a lot of people, I think, when you're younger. You absorb stereotypes from media and you think that's just what people are. So I thought, being somebody who likes Star Wars and video games, I must be a nerd. But uh, then I, like, I think through math team? I can't remember. Maybe it was in junior high? Right, Jeff, and he was just like a super chill dude, but was also into video games and anime and shit. I was like, man, I didn't know that that was possible. And then after high school, I just never really talked anymore. It was a bummer. Jeff works at Rooster Teeth. Not that. Jeff. Playing Doom on PC. Why do you need a capture card? Uh, Dr. Salt Neo. Because my capture setup, I use a two PC setup. Um, and I use a two PC setup because there are certain limitations to capturing locally on a PC that I ran into a while ago. El No. Cocktails. Very nice. Sounds like a Disney, Disney animated show. Which, by the way, the adventures of the uh, Three Caballeros or whatever, The Legend of the Three Caballeros, whatever show that is, it's amazing. Um, it's kind of insulting and a little aggravating how good animation is for kids these days. Because it's genuinely funny and really well animated. And, uh, man, I just think about the trash that went into my face when I was a kid. Not fair. That's the point, right, though? Everything's supposed to get better over time. March 4th, Gamma's released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish, combat potential low. April 18th, oh yeah, you're right, Mighty Max was, was real solid. I loved that show. April 18th, uh, also there was like a Bruce Willis voiced one called like Bruno the Kid or something like that. I thought that was cute. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. June 30th. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with high, especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlyle is committed more than ever to perfecting the Gamma line. August 14th. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers. Increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma's quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I've procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. September 1st. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's begin beginning to feel cramped due to Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. September 9th. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gamma's promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. I love how absolutely everybody in, in Raccoon City is crooked as fuck. That's like, that's the one explanation for how all this stuff is going down. This is worth the 60 bucks? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's a really high quality game. Uh, just in terms of its audios, its visuals, its writing, its uh... Oh boy. Oh. Uh, but yeah, apparently it's extremely short. So I could see why that might... Lead to some concern about its, uh, the economy of it. And if, uh, if money's tight, I can see that, that being an issue. This is, uh, this is a, we, we do live in dark times. Yeah, dude, I've, I've seen Tiger King. Uh, that is, that's a real journey. Jesus. Flame rounds. 
somebody has sex with a werewolf, does it count as bestiality? I mean, if they're in lupine form, then absolutely yes. What's up, Kiwi Jones? Oh, remake, RE2 Remake is 20 bucks? Oh my god, yeah. If you're, if you're curious about RE3 Remake and you haven't played RE2, buy Resident Evil 2 and play it. And uh, once you're done with it, then 3 will probably be cheaper. Um, hello, Desil. I've discovered you through Alana's Drunk Eternal highlight video and since been following the VODs of your Nightmare playthrough. Really enjoy how personable and well-spoken you are as your laid-back attitude. Cheers from Germany. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Those are, uh, I guess, personality traits that I've, I've tried to cultivate. Yeah, twenty dollars is a deal and a half for sure. Uh, but yeah, thank you, uh, Desil. I hope you, I hope you enjoy watching the streams and thank you for the cheer. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be playing more Doom later, so your your six hundred sixty six is is on the money. Oh, I have to go to the right down here. Yeah, RE two is is an incredible package. Uh, it you play through the campaign twice, so in that way they do kind of extend the runtime of the game. I don't... Uh, 3 doesn't seem to quite have the same setup. Sorry? I am. Oh, okay. There's like one flame round. I'll take out the big boys. So if it's a spooky game. Resident Evil 3! Resident Evil is meant to be the spookies. It is. I'm fighting these... Or these giant two-legged fish boys that are very, very round and angry. I just killed one, so... I don't know if his corpse is still here. It probably doesn't... No, there he is. Well, it's just kind of a no, chunk it's now. it's just goo. It's just stuff. It's very wild on-screen stuff. You guys even got to see your fancy... Ah! It's got to see your fancy dress. Oh, people are just remarking that they got to see you on camera briefly. Uh, no, Dave. Steph, Steph left Blizzard, uh, I want to say about two months ago? She is now. Get this. I'm working for CD Projekt Red on Cyberpunk. So, my chances have never been better to become Keanu Reeves' best friend. Um, I imagine a quick rewrite of the game, and I'm in there right alongside Keanu as his best friend. <laughs> you can just copy and paste the lines and just control F, like, just replace some of the words. It's easy. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Cyberwatch continues for sure. No, I, uh, as, as I informed Steph and uh, told you guys on the podcast, I am conducting a war of emotional terrorism on this woman so that she has to uh, give me cyberpunk secrets so that I can monetize them. <laughs> yes, I withhold all of my affection from her until she doles out one headline-grabbing informational fact. This will undoubtedly get her fired. But that is not my problem. Uh, no, we, we have a rule. It's true, we do. We have all agreed upon this rule. Damn it, I'm out of inventory space. They gave me all these fanny packs and then they start giving me these giant batteries. Bleh. But yes, the rule is that if Steph loses her job because of my video game journalism, then I have to support her. She gets to stay at home and eat snack cakes all day. Right. With a potential alcohol problem. Potential. Damn it. Damn it. A love letter? <laughs> exactly, Game and Chips. Look up, Samurai. We got a city to burn. You get to fund it. As long as you bring along my best friend, Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, that'll be my name in the game, too. It'll just be me. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's being a 50s housewife. Stuff's gonna get all pilled up and boozed out. I'll come home and there won't be any food or cleaning done, but she'll just scream at me and then just hurl an empty wine bottle across the room. What type of work does Steph do at CD Red? Uh, she is the Director of Communications for North America. So, 
DC comms. My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power and, of course, that voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. Oh, these are Hunters? Damn. Well, they're much less... They're a lot less uh, terrifying than the Hunters in RE1. Thank God. And yet, they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit to use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It's those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove Umbrella. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Okay. Aya Nomac? Aya Nomac. Thank you for the Prime sub. I'm going to keep trying that name until I get it. Does that mean you and Steph's current working arrangements is that you were the 50s housewife? I mean, I guess. I have been doing a lot more cooking and cleaning lately, but that's mostly just because, you know, we're at home. Um, crap, there's so many items in here. Oh, there is a box. Wait. No, there's no crate here. Ah! You're going to make me run all the way back? I guess I can drop off the battery. And then maybe combine some of that stuff for... Ammo? I don't need the gunpowder right now, probably. Oh, Coda Bear! Thank you for uh, gifting a sub. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for gifting two subs. Thank you, thank you. I am the AI inside of Keanu Reeves' head. Yes. So there's an item in this zone somewhere. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, gosh. It's Damn. my tie time. Ooh. Indeed it is. Oh. Yeah, careful. I bought, yeah. A, I bought a hook. Get this off. Oh, my gosh. Did it actually come with all the, like, leaves and flowers and things? It came with the leaves and the flower, and they gave us straws. But we have, of course, many tiki glasses. Yes, we do. So. <laughs> True stuff. Cheers. Delightful. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's a good Mai Tai. Woo. Yeah, that's a boozy <laughs> as shit Mai Tai. Oh, oh it's a, a good night. day. I haven't had anything to eat, so I'm already yeah. feeling great. I had like egg whites and then a cracker thing, and that's it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it too. Uh, all right, I gotta, I gotta take a break. I gotta go use the restroom, but I'll be back in a second, guys. Yes, the straws make the difference, and this, this cocktail is beautiful. Thank you, Steph. Can't thank you enough. All right. Be back in a second, guys. You're welcome. Oh, yes. Back, back, back. Kyle's a Chad. He's pretty Chad-like. Hey, everybody. Just had to check in with Steph. Yeah, chip aside, I was, um... Dark Forces is a great game. Um, Jedi, or Jedi Knight 2... Wait. Dark Forces 2, colon Jedi Knight, is probably one of my favorite games. Um, also one of those games that I, like, kind of got into PC gaming about. Uh, Kyle Katarn is the greatest characters in Star Wars, if not all fiction. That's true. Your stars are not silly enough. Well, you'll have to wait for it. Jedi Knight is very hard. Yeah. It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. Tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. Cop said he probably skipped town, but I said, no way. Not with his baby coming any day, but did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke-breathing toad-faced motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. It's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ, either. Next time one of those freaks shows its face, I'm gonna hit it right in its big ugly mouth. You're gonna get eight, bro. God damn it. Got no room! Eee! Uh, I... Fritz. Ah, there it is. Thank you for the cheer. <laughs> Welcome back. 
people on Steam are complaining the remake is too action-y. Uh, true? I mean... I don't know. I... It... I don't know that I can say, definitively, at this point. Um... I would say... Blah. I think it... I think it would certainly, uh... I think it would certainly make sense. Shit! Uh, is that an instant death? Wow! Um, it is an instant death. Uh, I think that... Oh, it just auto-saved me in the lab, okay. It would stand a reason, I think. Um... I mean, from... I mean, that, that kind of echoes the, the series... The series as as it evolved anyway. Uh, from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, every game got progressively more action-filled because they didn't need to rely on a lot of the slow pacing that came from using pre-rendered backgrounds with tank controls. and So much of the game's clunkiness and, and slow pace leaned into its horror, but... I mean, there's two sides to that coin. It's on one hand... If it controls really well and you have perfect control of your character, then you lose a lot of the tension from moving slowly. Did you say taint controls? Maybe I did. Snack pack, TV. Thanks for the prime sub. I don't want to get bored again. Or do I? Maybe Jill's into that. Shit. Killing these guys without grenades kind of sucks. You down? You're down. Okay. What birthed that thing? The Umbrella Corporation. It is the evolution of the Hunter line. Resident Evil's main genre wasn't even really horror. It was survival, I would say. I agree. That, that's, that's the weird thing about Resident Evil. It's... It has always been... The Japanese take on Western B-horror. All you have to do is look at all the enemies in Resident Evil 1 to see that they were just really going for just, like, campy 50s horror movies. Giant alligators, big snakes, zombies. Resident Evil is just, like, it's the, it's, it's 50s monster movies through an anime lens. And it was never scary. It was campy, and it was fun, and it was tense. And I think a lot of the horror came from the, the art style, the music... And the, like, the tense controls. Red Resident Evil did coin the term survival horror genre. It kind of did. It wasn't the first game to do it, but you're right. It is credited with sort of pioneering the, the genre in that way. Um, in regards to the game being, like, too action-y, I guess that depends. Like, it is more action-y than two. Um, it moves faster. You have dodge. Just having dodge in general changes the game pretty profoundly. Now you have a tool where you can actually move through zombies if you have good timing. The remakes take themselves so seriously. I... That's always been an aspect of Resident Evil, though, is that they're always super self-serious. Uh, I think it's more that the graphics got a lot better, so the, uh, the camp isn't as obvious. Uh... But I always thought that one of the hallmarks of Resident Evil is being really campy and ridiculous, but also taking yourself super seriously. It's kind of kind of got Metal Gear vibes in that regard, except I don't even think Metal Gear was intended to be silly. Um, I think they'll ever do remake remake. I don't know that it's necessary. I think the the remake they did and the continuous updates and re-releases they do are perfect for what Resident Evil One is. Um, Because Resident Evil 1 is, is pretty chunky classic survival horror, and the remake is a really good brush up of that. Explosive rounds, B to make flame rounds. Good. I'll be doing that shortly. Let me go pick up some more items. It's a good remake, yeah. Um, actually, somebody was asking earlier about playing the remakes of the originals. I think if you play Resident, Resident Evil 1 remake, that will give you a pretty good education about what Resident Evil 1 is all about. And then 2 and 3 are pretty good reinterpretations of Resident Evil 4. We need to remake Code Veronica. 
People have said that, Radar. I don't remember there being a lot of a lot of really interesting merit to Code Veronica. It was one of the only things to play on Dreamcast at the time, but apart from that... Okay, all items got. Wait, there's an item I didn't got. Uh, Stoke for Doom Eternal later. Yeah, actually, I'll be switching to Doom pretty well, or pretty soon here. I'm not feeling well, just been laying in bed all day. I'm gonna spread my time watching the stream, Stoke for Doom Eternal. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Doom Eternal in a second here. I'm actually just, I'm just gonna swoop up some items and then, and then switch games. I'm enjoying this game, though. I, uh, I know it's not gonna last very long, but the rides have been great so far. Oh, hey, Bayou Nix. Good to see you again. Huh, there's a mysterious item here. Huh. Remake got rid of the incredible basement music? You're right. It's like somebody at Capcom fell asleep on their keyboard. Oh, shit. There were flame rounds there the whole time. Dang it. Oh, and Ziki got a hop off. Thanks for the cheer. That's a hell of a way to say goodbye. You're gonna make me miss you saying bye like that, but thank you. Yeah, you're right. You are right. That was from the director's cut, I think? Actually, hold on a minute. I think we need to hear that right now. Basement theme extended. Jeez, yep. It's one minute. Oh, the DualShock OST, yeah. Yes, this is real. Like a fat man with a trombone following behind me. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> walking. And it's like, it's such a short loop, too. Oh, man. It, YouTube being YouTube, it's already putting me down a, a lane of terrible video game music. So wet. Wait for it, wait for the drop. Ugh. I mean that's fitting given what's what's gonna be coming up with soon. <laughs> the gates of fart. Yeah, the Sega's base chip was pretty farty. Really no getting around it. Um, I was from the 32X of uh, 32X port of Doom. And Doom? Yeah, I can play with music on. Wait, what do you mean? Why wouldn't I be able to? Shit and tear. Oh my gosh. Quintonius, beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Perfect in every way. The boy! Perfect in every way! Why am I else here? Shotgun shells going on another high grade mag. Two weeks to make handgun. So wait. Yes. Shit and tear your ass. See that sick reload animation. I pause it. It's incorrect, but I'm gonna pause it anyway. Shit and smear. Ugh. He's got butts. Huge butts. Shit and smear those butts. Uh, I posit that video game grenade launchers have the most satisfying sound effects. The, like, boom, of firing it. The shunk, reloading it. It's not true, but... Hmm. 
Some oh wait, I made fish last night. I'm like, there's something there's something in the trash. I'm gonna bag that up. Shotty's one, but pistol is two. Uh yeah, I got upgrades for the pistol that make it make it a fat boy. It's got a extended clip, a silencer on it. That uh that I haven't even used it since I put the silencer on there. Man, Resident Evil 7 was really good. Uh they do make the thunk sound. I mean, RPGs have pretty good sounds too. The the rocket launcher in, in Doom Eternal's got a really good thunk whenever you fire it. Looks like she's got a little solar calculator on her on her hip. All right, uh, sorry to sorry to mix it up so quickly after an extended break, but I'm gonna switch over to Doom Eternal. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bag up the trash because I don't wanna I don't wanna be uh, whiffing whiffing fishy trash. Although the tilapia I made last night was really good. I'm finally getting better. Yeah, I know it's a radio. It's just the 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 buttons made it look kind of like a calculator. I like thinking that that Jill is a uh, roving accountant. Okay, doom time. Uh, see you guys in just a second after I bag up some trash, take another sip of my drink. Be back in a moment. The end of Doom Eternal lore run. When someone desires.